Mm, 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 mm. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Black CEO Media. Welcome to Barbershop Talk TV out here in America. I'm going to wait a few minutes till the people come up in here. This right here is the topic of the police kills, double empty, empathy in a wheelchair. Anthony Lowe out in LA. I'm going to put the, some of the pictures up where the police, you know what I'm saying, fired on this guy. This guy was in a wheelchair, uh, double amputee, and the police fired on him. Now, you know, it's a conversation. Let me see. Let me cut that off. The brother, wow, man, it, it, it's crazy. Now, the guy that got killed is the amputee. I'm going to put this up here. Where is it at there? Actually, there you go right there. Uh, this is Anthony Lowe out in L.A. This happened maybe like maybe four days ago. And uh, I guess from my understanding, the guy, Anthony Lowe, with no legs, you know, the double amputee, that's him right there. His legs is cut off below the knees. And this police right here, I guess, felt they said that the, the taser didn't work, you know. And from my understanding, that's uh, the, the gentleman, the, the Anthony guy have the knife right there. That's the silver like thing, the silver piece. And, you know, people around us saying, okay, if he just harmed this other gentleman, he stabbed another guy. How you can't disarm this brother here? Besides, you know, and him winding up dead, you know, uh, no longer here with us. I'm going to play the news. Uh, I'm going to play the news clip. You know what I'm saying? The video for the people that haven't heard about it. And I know earlier today, some of the people say they heard about it. This is unique. I like to see what the community has to say on that. You know, you see the... Uh, police officer, right? They got the uh, the weapon drawn on him, and uh, this guy, hey, you know, he was running away, like you know what I'm saying, from the police, but not, I mean, not where they couldn't have contained the gentleman. You know what's going on? Uh, uh, what's that? Tuella? Oh man, I'm bad with the names. I'm gonna call you Apple. What's going on, Apple? This right here is sad. So what I'm gonna do is. We're going to listen to the uh, actual news uh, clip real quick, but this is him right here. This is him up close. This is Anthony Lowe. Uh, he lost his life. Uh, from my understanding, I guess he did stab a guy. And you do have the guy coming out saying he ain't no hero. He ain't no victim. I'm the victim, you know. Um, you got a gentleman coming out, the guy that was stabbed by him saying he ain't no victim. I'm the victim. You know, but as we see, the police uh, got his, his, his firearm drawn on him and they used it. You know, they said that uh, the taser didn't work on this double empathy, y'all. They said it didn't work. Uh, I'm not saying that this brother shouldn't pay the piper, you know, but I'm just trying to figure out how do you get to a point where you shoot the double, uh, you know, uh, empathy? All right, cool. Apple. How do you, you know, get to a point like that? You know, because it was a brother, another brother injured, you know, that's in the hospital to speak it out to you in hell. Y'all talking about him. What about me? So I thought this was unique. And uh, I seen it yesterday uh, here in my city, North Carolina. And it, it you know, kind of tripped me out. And I seen people protesting. As we see, the family was out there saying, yo, this is wrong. Um, he was fleeing away from the cop. And uh, you hear the attorneys, which we're here in a few minutes right here. So I'm going to get ready to play it. Let me see. That's why I can kill that audio in the background. No. What's up, everybody? Who we got up in here? Who we got up in the lion den real quick? We touching bases here. Let me really plug this in. And then we're going to see what they got to say. Hold up. Hope everybody's all well out here in America. All right, let's see what they're saying real quick. Let's see. Let me make sure my volume up. I mean, because it's weird and it's kind of sad what happened, you know. Let me see. The family of Anthony Lowe says he was struggling after recently losing both his legs, but they say he was a loving son and a loving father of two, and they're now demanding answers. It's cell phone video that doesn't provide clear answers. You can hear the shots fired by police that killed double amputee Anthony Lowe, but you can't see him. Hey, Seconds later, he's on his stomach being handcuffed. At a news conference, his family says he was shot in the back and because he had just lost both his legs, was no threat to the heavily armed Huntington Park police officers. They murdered my son in a wheelchair with no legs. Mm. So they do need to do something about it. Because I do, I want justice for my son. 
Police say they were called out to Slauson Avenue last Thursday because Lowe had jumped out of his wheelchair and stabbed someone unprovoked, leaving that person in critical condition. You can see a large knife in his hand in this video. He runs from police and officers use tasers, but then an SUV blocks the view. Police say Lowe threatened to advance and throw his knife at them. He's running on his limb. How cold hearted could they be? This is my twin. We did everything together, and they took everything from me. The Huntington Park Police Department says the officers are now on paid administrative leave and referred all questions about the case to the L.A. County Sheriff's Department, which is now investigating, along with the DA's office. But the family wants the Attorney General to step in. The Los Angeles Sheriff's has their own house to get in order before they try to investigate any other departments. It's not clear if there is body camera footage, but on the cell phone video, you can make out security cameras. There are also cars with drivers who may have seen what happened. Wow, y'all see that? It's crazy. It's crazy. Now, he was walking, running away. Oh, all right, let's finish. Now, we know that there are other cell phone videos out there, and the family is calling on the Huntington Park Police to release whatever footage they have gathered thus far. What the city of Huntington Beach and the police department put out a press release saying they are committed to transparency, but also asking for the public's patience as right. this investigation is carried out. Live in Huntington Park, I'm Christy Fajardo. Let's send it back to All you. All right. Let's, I wish I, I can't wind it. I wish, uh, let me see. Let me see. Hold up. I'll go back to it in a few minutes. Hold up. But yeah, what do y'all own if y'all heard that? Where the double amputee? What's up, big five? Where does double amputee? Okay, the man did stab. Love the gentleman. I seen the guy in the hospital, and the gentleman saying, Hell, y'all, he ain't no damn hero. He stabbed me, you know. And uh, yeah, it was a huge night. And dude, you know, hey, for him to be a double amputee, he was running. You know, he was getting away from him. I'm gonna play it again. But dude was getting the hell away from there. You know what I'm saying? And then you see the police come up. You know, they said that they tried to tase the guy. It didn't work. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if he was running too fast or whatever. High in the hell, though. But guess what? We winded up and the brother is no longer with us. This guy don't even have no legs. He was running. They say his legs is cut right at the knees. Um, they say he was uh, depressed. You know what I'm saying? From having... Um, his legs, uh, you know what I'm saying, amputated. I can see that, you know. I had an uncle that had one, um, you know what I'm saying, that he was depressed and for the, you know, this young man. And I ain't taking up for him, you know, because uh, it was another gentleman that uh, was uh, that was injured by this brother, Anthony Lowe. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't coming here to take up. But why can't we do this right? Some people may say fence and say, no, man, I, I get it. But let's go by the law. I know a couple of cases, hell, you may not agree with, but what I'm saying, let's go by the law and do it right out here in America. There's plenty of cases I can say the police didn't do it right. Let's don't look at, I mean, that, that issue, that pro the police ain't do it right. They didn't do it right. Somewhere in there, they didn't do it right. Let me see, can I go back and replay it real quick? Let me see, let me get this commercial yeah, the out of the way. Of Anthony Hold on one Lowe. second. For the new people. Check this out. And the, the young man, the guy was running. I mean, I I never seen a guy with no legs amputee run like that. And, you know, hell, I mean, that's crazy. I'm not knocking him. But that brother uh, was getting the hell away from that. And how can you can't how you can't neutralize a brother with no legs, no matter if he's white or, or, or not, though. Now, what I'm going to do, and uh, I'm going to drop the link, though. That way we, uh, we can chop it up on it and, you know, how you can't, you know? Let me see. Uh, I wonder what caused him to stab the other man. I hey, I don't know, bro. Big Vi. And you know, my thing is, he might need to, you know, pay the cost for it. I mean, because this guy in the hospital got this big patch where dude did a job on. But damn, how you can't neutralize this guy with no legs? Yeah, he got a big knife. Now, Tyree Nicholson, you tase him, he ran away the other day. It didn't, you know, it didn't work. So, damn, maybe we need to get rid of these tasers because if we don't get rid of the damn tasers, first thing they want to say is shoot him. Stop being so goddamn scared to the police is what I'm saying and turn your balls in. The taser didn't work. Oh, my gosh. It didn't work. 
And then guess what? I don't know what do I, well, no, no, you know, I ain't gonna say all law enforcement, I ain't gonna pick on the police because at the end of the day, this guy did stab somebody, but damn it, let's do it right. Let's play this real quick. I'm gonna drop the link if somebody wanna come up, feel free, and we'll analyze it a little bit. That's the only thing I'm saying though. And I'm saying this gentleman run like hell. He run like hell. So if I'm a police, okay, I'm still looking at it like, damn, okay, excuse me, with the Tyree Nicholson thing. Before we figured out that one of these police is damn near dating somebody that this guy working with. Damn, so you mean to tell me Tyree up there smashing one of the, the cops, damn, uh, one women or whatever up there. Maybe, no, baby. And then they, they come to find out they Q dogs and all of this. And so these Q dog police is allegedly went over there and just wore our brother ass out. They went our brother ass out and we say no deal. We say no deal. Welcome to the uh, Lion Den, Big Five, man. What I mean, what, what do you, is this your first time seeing this, bro? Yeah, it's my first time seeing it. What's up, Unc, man? Long man. time no see, man. Yeah, what's up, my brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you I, feeling, man? Welcome, man, welcome, man. I'm, I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it over again because I'm okay. sorry on the back end. Okay, let me let me let me replay it here. Ah, I, got a stream. I got a little sniffles, man, out here in America, man. We got this change of weather. Okay, let's rock with it, though. Boom. Yeah, the family of Anthony Lowe says he was struggling after recently losing both his legs. But they say he was a loving son and a loving father of two, and they're now demanding answers. It's so a video that doesn't provide clear answers. You can hear the shots fired by police that killed double amputee Anthony Lowe, but you can't see him. Seconds later, he's on his stomach being handcuffed. At a news conference, his family says he was shot in the back and because he had just lost both his legs, was no threat to the heavily armed Huntington Park police officers. They murdered my son in a wheelchair with no legs. So they do need to do something about it. Because I do, I want justice for my son. Police say they were called out to Slauson Avenue last Thursday because Lowe had jumped out of his wheelchair and stabbed someone unprovoked, leaving that person in critical condition. You can see a large knife in his hand go. in this video. He runs from police and officers use tasers, but then an SUV blocks the view. Police say Lowe threatened to advance and throw his knife at them. He's running on his limb. How tall could they be? This is my twin. We did everything together, and they took everything from me. The Huntington Park Police Department says the officers are now on paid administrative leave and referred all questions about the case to the L.A. County Sheriff's Department, which is now investigating, along with the DA's office. Damn. But the family wants the Attorney General to step in. The Los Angeles Sheriff's has their own house to get in order before they try to investigate any other departments. It's not clear if there's body camera footage, but on the cell phone video, you can make out security cameras. There are also cars with drivers who may have seen what happened. Now, we know that there are other cell phone videos out there, and the family is calling on the Huntington Park Police to release whatever footage they have gathered thus far. The city of Huntington Beach and the police department put out a press release saying they are committed to transparency, but also asking for the public's patience as this investigation is carried out. All right. Let me unblock that. Yeah. Let me see. I do. Hey, they say he was running away, you know. Um, let me put that up there. Yeah, as we see, I mean, it tripped me out seeing the brother. I was, when I seen it on TV uh, last night, I was like, damn, he nice. He can move back. How do? What do you think about that, V? And the, you see that I, right there? I'm looking at the fact, the simple fact that, I mean, he recently lost his leg. So how is he running on his you know, on his link, yeah. you know, and yeah. then the simple fact, the car, the car was obstructing a view, but as you look at the police, from the police angle, they were still approaching forward. Mm -hmm. so he was still going in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. But I don't know this. It's, it's like a, a catch to it as far as what caused him to stab the person? They say he did stab him for no reason, but they right. could, they brought a dog up on the scene. They could I would have rather them put the dog on him, try to at least 
Okay. The dog would have been a distraction to try to it, tase him and get the you know for him to drop the knife or whatever the situation may have been. It's just so crazy that lethal force is almost the first action now. You know, yeah. it, 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 it's crazy. And it sounded like they hit him three times with it. Bah, bah, bah. It, Maybe. It's not, in the beginning of that video, it sounded like all three of them were shooting. Yeah, so wow. So this dude from, damn, two cops. I'm going to say he at least took like six, six slugs. Yeah, it no, was it, a lot of shots. In the beginning, if you listen, when you first play, play that video, you're going to hear multiple shots. Going. Let me see. Let me see if I can keep it back up. Damn, you hear it right, man. It's crazy. Let me see. Answers. Cell oh phone God! Video that doesn't Whoa! Whoa! Up. Listen to the gunshot. Cell phone video that doesn't. Wow! Cell phone. I can't video even count that. Hold up. It's cell phone video that doesn't provide clear. Damn! Wait a minute. Now, a double amputee, y'all. All them type of shit. Hold on. Let me put that back down. I'm gonna put it back up here and replay. Show the people what I'm doing. I'm replaying this. We listen to the shots, y'all. If you're new in here. What they did to this double amputee. Do it take this many bullets? Let me uh put my headphone in there. That way, hopefully, it won't. Damn. Do it take these many shots to shoot a guy with no damn leg? I don't care if he's white or black. Do it take that? Nope. Now demanding answers. It's cell phone video. Damn. Damn, I counted like nine. I think I counted like nine shots, bro. Okay. Damn. Now, oh, I want you to pay attention to something when you when you play it back over. Mm -hmm. the cop in the middle never moved, but the other two cops step back. Like, but they say like the guy said threatened to come towards them. Now watch the cop in the middle never move, but the ones on the outside, they the ones take the step back. Alright. It's cell phone video yeah. that doesn't provide Hold up. Okay, yeah, damn. Okay, the one in the middle, he like he got in good position with it, bro. The one bagged up, and then that one you say that was dead, damn, like he he got. Damn. I don't know, y'all. Chat, what y'all think? Do y'all think? I mean, do it take that? We understand that he, uh, you know, he did something, but damn, do it take that? Let me see. And like I say, here's the still picture. I don't know if they hit him off right there in that corner, you know, but I mean, whatever happened to the damn baton somewhere in there, man, I just feel they could have damn neutralized the guy. Yeah, I think I they could have neutralized spray. him. Man, he hit the dude with pepper spray. He going to drop that damn knife. Damn, I didn't even think of that. You got pepper spray. You got taser. Mm. You got the dog. You have so many. You, you got to have patience, man. Mm -hmm. and, or, or you know, and then sound like I. It, it's sad that the family, you know, it's sad that the family had to come out and do a press conference. Mm -hmm. But when y'all come out and do a press conference and say he was suffering from depression, pretty much from having his legs amputated, it make it seem like it was a suicide. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I and I don't want that. We don't need that narrative to be put out like he attempted to charge the police. Because of his, you know, he didn't want to live no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't. And we didn't see him charge. No. Nah, like I say, the, the yeah. cop in the middle, he stood there. Damn. And then they say, and then the family say, you know, this dude took them bullets to the back. And if I he mean, damn. Hit all the way in the back like that. I mean, ain't no justification, man. You know, he did commit a crime, a stab or somebody. Right. We right. don't know if it was self-defense. We don't know nothing. You know, we just know he stabbed somebody. Hmm. You know. Damn. That boy, this is this is crazy with this law officials. And I don't understand, bro, how they go through training. Do they teach him to be scared? I know cautious, but y'all teaching these 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 people to be damn to be scared and the damn kill. And then you know, I was talking the other day, man, about with the Terry. With the uh Tyree Nichols, man, it's sad when you do run automatic in their mind, it's kill this guy. Like he got to go. Oh, they man. should even change that, bro. I mean, because damn, you run, okay. It's this it, it should mean that you lose your life. 
Like, come on, First bro. time the Tyree Nichols story, mm. I, I covered it. I covered on it. Mm -hmm. What was going on? When I heard when I heard the officer say, I don't know if I can curse or not, but what he said to Tyree, no, he said, bitch ass nigga. I said, this personal. Yeah. I said, this is something personal going on between this officer and this and Tyree. I said, mm -hmm. because I know street language and I yeah. know, I hear that that terminology. That means that these people know you know who you're talking to. And mm -hmm. for to come to find out that this officer, Tyree, allegedly, you know, was dating this officer ex-girlfriend, which he had mm -hmm. a kid by. Her. And to hear that the officer took a picture of this brother and sent it to the girl while they were beating him. Wow. Wow, y'all hear that? I mean, that, wow. And you know, I'm gonna tell you, when I first looked at it, I, my thing was before that registered, I'm looking like, I'm looking at all these damn dudes, man, and I'm saying to myself, how they can't get the handcuffs on before I'm recognizing shit. And I'm trying to figure out how did he was ever able to damn get up and even run? Cause right then I'm trying to figure out like, you got these big ass dudes and I'm looking at first, like they just like dirty dog in there, man. And, you know, then later on, that's when I got to looking at myself was like, you know, and then after hearing people, bro, like, damn, something ain't right with this. I mean, because big as them dude, bro, I seen like a, I had a guy, let me see, one dude that's big like that put my cousin in the chicken wing. Hell no, nah, I ain't, I'm one of the bouncers from the club back in the day, bro. Put him in the damn chicken wing and took him out. And that's why I'm looking, waiting on them to go and do their thing with him. Sitting up here there and playing, man. And that's scary right there. Man, that's scary. Crazy. I heard a dude. I heard the dude say real quick, Vi, that these uh, cops had these. The Scorpion unit had something to do with them. Uh, Young Dolph down there in uh, Memphis. I don't know allegedly, like this little unit right there, man. That's crazy, bro. I I, I looked at some more I, uh, earlier today. I was just when I was looking, I was doing a little reporting on the three rappers. Mm -hmm. Across the video with the Scorpion unit, uh, they got. They got with this little 19 year old kid. The kid said he was just walking down the street. Mm -hmm. They pulled up on him, unmarked cars, no police shirts on, nothing. Start. He said he took off running. Mm -hmm. They uh, they caught him. He tried to hop a fence. They caught him. He bust his head open. Wow. They punched on him, and everything. He said uh, then uh, the uh, you know, the investigators they went back through the police report and seen that. In the police report, it said that the kid refused medical aid. They got him in his book pack. In his book bag, he had a stolen gun. But uh, then it came out is that one of the officers, um, you know, they use on shift change. When the next officer came in to get the car, he's you know checking the car before going out. He found the gun on the back seat of the car that wasn't uh, uh that wasn't registered. So they had they riding around in the police cars with stolen guns. So now I said to myself, I said, well, they put that this 19 year old kid had a stolen gun in his backpack. Could this be a case of where these this scorpion unit going around planting evidence, planting guns and planting drugs on people that they arrest mm -hmm. the legal stopping uh stopping searches that they doing and plant mm -hmm. evidence? Mm-hmm. Because so they do now, it around here. They do yeah. it around here. Now this whole that whole everybody that they ever arrested, arrest is finna have to be investigated. Yeah. Tell them let's do it. They hit my damn brother in law off like that, man. We let us check your car. Got on smoke weed. They come back to my what's this? What the hell you mean? What is this? I don't know what that is. You can put that in there. I don't even smoke. And that was back in the early 90s, bro. But to take a of this man after y'all beating him, but I believe Tyree ran because he knew he noticed the guy. You know what I'm saying? He noticed mm -hmm. the guy, guy noticed him. Well, the guy targeted him. He noticed it was the guy after getting pulled over. That's why I believe he ran. And yeah. the guy, you know, when they caught up to him, and when I heard him say, "Bitch ass nigga, get out the car," I'm like, "That's personal." Yeah, 
before I even knew the story, when I when it when I first heard about it, it had happened, before I knew anything, I said this is something personal. Because you just as a as a brother, I just know you just don't just say that to a random person. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So then it comes out that the the working relationship with Tyree and the ex girlfriend, and mm. I'm like, man, it's sad. And then all these for these other five seven people to mm-hmm. uh, 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 aid him in his attack on this brother, man. That's even sadder. Like it's black yeah. man, look, if me and you together, and you, hey man, I'm gonna go whoop this dude for messing with my girl, man. Black, I expect you to say, look here, man. Take oh, yeah. that off, take that belt off. If you want to deal with this man, y'all gonna have to deal with each other one on one. Yeah. But I'm not finna do this with my uniform on. I can't allow you to do this with your uniform on. You know, you represent we represent a police department. Mm-hmm. You know, but uh uh nowadays morals, a lot of people don't have them. Facts. A lot of people don't have them. I'm not finna if I can't talk you down, I damn sure ain't finna talk you up. You know. And this brother, these these but this brother used his authority. They say he did the same thing. He well, he was a correction officer, officer, mm. handcuffed handcuffed inmates, beating on them. So wow. he's doing this type of stuff. Wow, beating that. And they had the damn squad after that night. And then guess what? You see how fast they uh they, they put them handcuffs, got the charge in them, bro. Was that yeah. fast? But look at the gate of the, the Caucasian guy. Who was tasing him? He got leave. He Why did he, he go to jail too? He said he ain't do it, man. Right? His lawyer said he didn't do it, and I said I'll be damned. You sat there like Cabo Six and watched them whoop the hell out of. Him. And uh, hey, don't believe him because if these dudes was out there plotting on Tyree, he had to know something. Yeah, he a part of that unit. Yeah, he had to know something. The EMT, the EMT mm-hmm. pulled up and just sat there while they were doing their dirt. Mm-hmm. So yeah. y'all. Y'all possibly allowed this man to suffer even more. He said, I hope they stomp his ass. I hope they stomp. I hope they stomp his ass. Why? Why do you hate want them to stomp his ass when they're up here whooping him because of ex-girlfriend? And you mean to tell me you want him to take this ass whooping, bro? And and, and if he run from the ass whooping, you want them to stomp him. Man, look at that. It don't make no damn sense, bro. That's how we break it down out here in America in the community. And this guy need to turn his balls in with the rest of the little uh, black brothers over there, uh, a.k.a. Fact. Q-Dogs, man. What the fuck he talking about? That's Stomp a his fact. ass. And to Bruh. be 80 feet away from your mama house, mm. man, screaming and hollering like, mm, bro, mm, mm, mm. man. Yeah, and, it, and it's sad. What America and it, coming to. And this, is what, this is what America coming to. Mm-hmm. I told people, man, I remember the days growing up when policing in black communities, man, we felt safe when we saw black police officers. You know, when we saw the other Caucasian police officers, that's when we got worried. Mm-hmm. But when you got black officers out here acting as if the Scorpion unit was, yeah, man, that's the worst type of terror you can put on the black community. Mm-mm-mm-mm. We had one, we had one in our projects, man. And you know, boy, he used to put on a damn show. You pull up in front of a house, waiting on somebody to come out. If he come around the corner, he pull up behind you, move along, move along. Uh-huh. You know, cause you know, man, and, and it's crazy, man. I remember we were sitting out on the back of my grandma's porch, man. And um, and we weren't doing nothing, but the next day he went to my grandma, tell him he was watching us in front of the woods. And he had to be, tell me we were smoking weed. Well, it's not smoking weed for my grandmother to wear our ass out on the back of the porch or the neighbors that catch us in the projects. And, you know, but back in the day, we were like, yeah, man, they crazy. But look at that now that I'm older. The police up in the damn woods watching us invading our privacy, just waiting right. on us to do something. Just bring a damn a car in the community and put keys in it and set us up. I'm gonna see if I know somebody. I'm gonna take this damn car down there and make somebody go. I think yeah. that's stupid. Bait the bait and shit. Why would you take your bait car and just go yeah. fuck up somebody's life? Even though you know he'll do that. Instead of going down there and help them with a truck, you'll take a damn nice car down there. They get him. I know he had this. This man need help like crack. Why y'all taking put bait cars down there, man? It be I never agree with that shit. I never agree with it. You know, 
and it's police's man like you said what the hell is it coming to now you run oh that pissed him off i would love to ask a chief one of these police is like why if i run that make your people's y'all tell them to kill them i mean whoop his ass and i can just and then the thing is if i ain't done it wrong it's really no law to run from there i can look and see a police come and run when he run me down he gonna ask what i'm running for now don't kill me it's no damn law against that i can see a police and i can run but now really i can damn you know lose my life but it's almost time to have a damn talk with these damn uh police chiefs and stuff that only action if i run why would these people you pay be ready to give it don't i pay their damn taxes and i'm tired of people telling me oh the cops the people in blue right who are the good ones because every one of them can tell you who smoke weed and they got damn family they can tell you that because they normal just like us they ain't gonna tell it so how you can say there's a such there's no such thing as a good cop or a judge or nothing because ain't no way in the hell they don't have a family member that smokes some green or something though i yield back by no, nah, man, these 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 cops been watching training day too much, man. Uh that's pretty much what type of policing they doing. Yeah. You know, they, they picking and choosing, you know, who they want to stop, who they want to bust, and then you know, they get on the payroll of these drug dealers and whoever mm -hmm. drug dealers say go shut down, they go and harass them people. I mean, the uh Memphis PD put out that they had no reason to pulled this brother over which mm -hmm. when they pulled him over he didn't think to run right away he pulled over but when he saw that officer that he knew of he got mm -hmm. the good point good point and then you know and then what he said at one point man y'all doing too much or something like bro like what the hell he said something he made a comment like that like bro like you know, it's sad, but hold up, Val, real quick. Uh, I got Precious Metal. What's up, Precious? Uh, and what's up to the brother, Sir Miguel? I salute all of y'all. What's going on? Uh, and I'm going to start with Precious Metal, though. Well, y'all welcome to the line, then. How do y'all feel about, uh, if y'all seen the video, this guy with the amputee, uh, the brother uh, Tyree? How you feeling? Welcome to the panel, Precious Metal. Hello, Lions Den. Glad to be back with y'all. Hey, Black. What's Glad going to on? you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's too much going on. Uh, yeah. It just seems to be one day, you know, they destroying our our young women. The next day, they destroying our young men. It's mm -hmm. like they want us. Um, there was there's a statue that um, Jeffrey Dahmer well. posed posed one of his uh, victims as, and he took a picture, and okay. this. The, he posed him where he, he cut his head off and his genitals and he bent him over backward. Wow. So I say that to say this, and there is a statue mm. um, that is made like that. And um, I believe it's something for the white supremacists or it might be a, satan mm -hmm. a satanic um, emblem or so. But it's, mm. it, it's for, for us to be, for colored people to be bent over backward okay no brain you understand no head no dumb head. head gone and they they're gonna and and with the genitals being missing our bloodlines are being taken okay what? so that speaks volumes mm. that right there speaks volumes and it, it's one thing when you have an outside entity coming at you you know what mm. i mean and it's another when you have your own coming at you and wow, not only breathe. coming at you, but killing you. Breathe. I can up, I, I didn't watch the video simply because I don't have it in me to watch it. Okay, um, well. I might go back in, you know, later on when I get myself together. I'm still going through what I'm going through with this thing with Shanquilla. And it, it you know, yeah. it took me a minute to watch that. So, but I'm staying up on everything and um, I'm in Baltimore um, okay. right now, but we're from Chester County. Um, that's where mm -hmm. my family is from, Chester County, South Carolina. Um, now, we had some officers that were, that are doing fed time mm -hmm. right now 
from Baltimore. It's um seven Baltimore uh, officers. They were, um, they were. Um, this is just back here about a year and a half ago. They got their time. Um, mm-hmm. it was a it was a task force just like this one, mm-hmm. and um, it was one white officer, and he was well. Actually, there were two of them, but the one white officer was um the um the head of that task force. Mm. Um, they were <clears throat> they were going into people's houses, taking drug money, taking guns, um, mm. you know, taking all all sorts of things. You know, they were um, stopping people, um, doing traffic stops, and you know, chasing people. Matter of fact, um, uh, older gentleman got killed from one of their um, from them chasing somebody, um, chasing a guy who had nothing on him. No drugs, no guns, no nothing. This guy was completely innocent, which was which was the same with a lot of the other guys that they were doing that to here. Mm. Um, now, during this police chase, um, it was on a, it was in an area of Baltimore ca- uh, called Gwen Oak, up mm. Gwen Oak Park. Okay, they were chasing this boy. He had no idea why he was being chased, and they were chasing him in uh, plain cars. They weren't chasing him in police cars. Wow. So he was afraid. You know what I mean? He didn't know what was going on. So an accident came up, and an older gentleman was killed. So what they did was plant a gun in the car because they searched and searched. There was never, never nothing in that boy's car. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's one thing that they did. Um, they had one boy was killed by a plug. If anybody okay. knows what a plug is, yeah. okay. okay, was killed by a plug because they went in his house uh. and took a stash that he could not uh. give back. Okay, uh. um, they wreaked complete havoc on Baltimore. Okay, and it was seven of them. Mm. Um, they robbed victims. They filed false affidavits. Um, wow. they made fraudulent overtime claims. Um, one officer is charged was charged in six defendants drug conspiracy indictments. Um, mm. they had uh, uh bail bondsmen doing little things. You know what I mean for them. Yeah. You know, they be tripping too. Yeah, they be tripping yeah. too. They they yeah, had like a big big ring of things going on, so um, with them going down, thank God. Um, now we had this new thing happening. Now mm-hmm. that happened, all of that happened right after the Freddie Gray incident happened up here. Okay, that and the riots awesome. and everything. Okay, now um, what they did with those riots, they did a lot of putting on the news what we were doing, how we were acting, but you never heard the things that were really going on in our neighborhoods. Like a lot of the parents were outside of the school. They had locked our children down inside of a subway at a mall. Yes. Yes, they locked our high school children down inside of the subway. They put the grates down. Had our children down in there. My nephew was in there at the time. My my children weren't in high school. We couldn't get to them. They were shooting beanbags at us. They didn't want to hear nothing we had to say. So it was making it look like everybody was rioting. No, we want our freaking children. Mm-hmm. Y'all got a lockdown in there in a damn subway. And it it, you know, it was Rats. it was really scary because now you don't know what's going on down here inside this thing. All y'all up here beanbagging the hell out of people. Now I gotta mm-hmm. say. We did have a lot of things going on where, where you know, they were coming at the cops. They never put on the news. I watched for myself. They hit a little boy. He was 10 years old, came straight through with one of them vehicles and smacked that baby straight up. And they did not show any of that. So wow. me saying this is to say there's a lot of stuff that um, is going to come out about this, this case with Tyree. And um, the other gentleman, I don't have his name, but there's a lot of stuff that's going to come out about this case that is going to surprise a lot of people. The reason Mm -hmm. why I say that is, for one, because his dad seems to believe that um, 
what's going on it being said is not true as far as Tyree bothering with somebody maybe that the other oh, officer okay. knows. Word. Okay. Yeah, now the father is saying that that's not true. Now, no, we might not have everything, but this is personal. And I don't mean any harm, but that boy ran because he was afraid and it's no reason if they hadn't done anything to him at the time. Now, for one, they made him get out of his car. They shouldn't have done that. You don't have to right. get out your car. If it's a traffic stop, you don't have to get out. They don't have no reason. No, you can lock your door. You can let your window down and you can hand them your credentials. If they trying to make you get out and it's just a traffic stop, I don't have no liquor on me. I don't have you don't have no reason to stop me. You can call the police. Right then and there, you can call the police again and you can let them hear you calling. You know what I'm saying? So um, with Tyree, I'm feeling like his parents don't know or, or don't have all of the information just like us. Because when you're grown, your kids don't tell you everything. Especially not about who they messing with and who and who they and who they used to be messing with. They don't do that. I know. I have a 27 year old son, a 25 year old son, a fifth no 16 year old son, and a 15 year old daughter. They do not tell you stuff, certain things when they get older. Mm -hmm. And nothing against Tyree's dad, but I just feel like he's missing a part of the puzzle and it's going to okay. come to him probably later on he's probably going to think like oh damn he mentioned this person or you know this particular day he wasn't his self or whatever it was mm -hmm. but it's going to come back to them and I truly truly believe that even if it's not where as though they were messing with the same woman there's some type of a personal connection yeah, between sure him and one or maybe two of the officers. Yeah. I feel like something may have happened when they weren't in uniform. You know what I mean? Maybe he got in somebody's mm -hmm. ass or something when they weren't in uniform or he put mm -hmm. them in their place. You know what I mean? And went on about his business and made them feel stupid. Right. So it was more of, uh huh, I got you now. Or I know what kind of car he drives. Or, you know, we're we going to get him. It's, it's just to the point, all of this feels personal. Mm -hmm. You know, the way that everybody is saying things went down. Um, like I said, I can't watch it. I mm -hmm. tried, but I can't. I don't have it in me because, like I said, I have sons. And it just puts me in the position of that like, I'm watching my child be done a certain kind of way, and I just can't. But... um. It's understandable. It's it understandable. is very true that that's a personal thing. It is very true. And cops are running amok everywhere. People got to understand, some of these damn cops, they ain't, you know, they're not here to protect and serve. They're here because they were bullied in high school. You know what I mean? And they want to be mm -hmm. part of a, 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 a group or a clique where they feel like, you know, they didn't have that coming up. Or, you know, they were bullied or they were the, they got class clowns. A lot of these people, these um, officers are not are not being um, they're not being checked as far as their emotional stability. They're not they're not staying up on that. They talk about mm -hmm. all this gun reform and everything. They need to deal with their they need to deal with their um, their, they psyche. They their psyche is messed up. Mm -hmm. A lot of these cops got, got bad psychological problems. And because there is a shortage of officers everywhere, they just starting right. to take them. They don't care. They just taking them off the bottom of the barrel. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not, put, they're not vetting their officers. They're not um, putting the attention on the doctors that need to deal with these officers. Because, you you know, they do have to be signed off when there's a shooting or something like that. They do have to be signed off by um, by psychiatrists or um, psychologists that, that are um, employed by the state. 
or by, you know, uh, by the city that these police officers work for. So they do have to have um, psychological, what is it called? Uh, they need testing, some of them psychological. Yeah, they have right to away. have like, they like when something has, they, they do have to like check in. You know, they have to go to these psychiatrists and they have to talk to them and they have to say, well, you know, you're good to go to work or you're not good or, you know what I mean? You need a little bit more time off or let's address this. They don't even have uh, doctors that want to be affiliated with these institutions mm -hmm. of law because of the way things are going down. You know what I mean? They don't, yeah. they don't even want to do that. So it's just like everything is messed up all the way around when it comes down to um, the, not the lawmakers, but I'm going to say the people that are supposed to enforce the law. Mm -hmm. It's hey, like Queen. they're making up their own laws. Okay. Hey, Queen, and, I'm going you know, to let, let this king come in. You, hey, sit right here because you're making some valid points, okay? You're okay. Points. You sit right here and I'm going to bring uh, this king in real quick. Uh, right. yeah, what's, how you feel? She banging it, man. And that's what we can. She is. Yeah, brother CEO, how you doing? How you feeling, brother? Good to see you I'm again. Good. Queen Precious Metal, how are you? Um, Glad to you, sir. I'm great. Um, you know what? Nothing really surprised me nowadays. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the problem is when we see stuff on camera, when somebody films it and it comes out, you got to keep in mind there's a lot of stuff that's going on that's not being mm -hmm. shown. And mm -hmm. so it's, it's like it becomes a shock value to us when we see it. But nothing really has changed too much in 20 years, let alone 40 years. Um, the advent of cameras have just made it more accessible to show what's going on at a given moment if somebody catches it. And I think we got to sort of get out of the emotional part of mm -hmm. saying, oh, damn, no, it's going on every single day. You just mm -hmm. not get you just not hearing about it and you're not seeing it a lot. But the ones that, that you see, it catches you off guard. Um, I remember my parents used to tell me this all the time about the police. She said, You think white cops are bad? She said, black officers are just as worse. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I was told this as a teenager, and mm -hmm. I saw it firsthand for myself. Wow. So it's unfortunate that we're at a time where you can't legislate behavior. Um, you can pass all the laws you want. As the queen said earlier, psychological, mm -hmm. psychological assessments and evaluations are very important. But even, even those can be manipulated, whether you know it or not. Mm -hmm. I can give you a perfect example. Uh, the average psychological test is 600 questions. The question is flipped 600 times in different ways. Mm. Some people know how to get by him, and some people, you know, straightforward or whatever the case may be. But as she said earlier, you got a lot of cats that, that become police officers that are bullies, that have been bullied, and they get on the force, and they just, you know, get in for a couple of years, and then they go haywire. Mm. This is sort of what you kind of see. And then some people wear their badges on their, on their sleeves. They got the power, so forth and so on. Um, it's, it's, it's a tragedy. Even with the with the uh, the amputee, which I saw here in L.A. Wow. Uh, last week, which was uh, was just was just totally terrible. Yeah. Um, and even at that in that situation, the police officer really they should have at least one person that's that deal with mental health riding with the right. police. I personally Ooh. believe um, because you can't always use a taser or or a gun. If, you know, at somebody, especially if they're going through something, but unfortunately, police officers are not trained that way. They're trained to react at that given moment. The drilling is flowing, boom, 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 but that's still no excuse. But it just goes to show you some people don't even know how to de-escalate, even in situations like that. He's in a freaking wheelchair. He's running away from you. But that's yeah. all I really want to say, Black CEO. And also, I want to say, man, thank you for continuing mm -hmm. uh, presenting the Shinquilla Robinson uh, stuff out here, man. I appreciate you 100% all you do, brother, Thank because you. at the end of the day, 
you, Big Vibe, and several other people that I've come across and be on mm-hmm. panels, man, you guys are presenting the information to the people the way it should be. Okay. Without BS, without mess, straightforward truth, you know, mm-hmm. without the juice, period. Yeah, without the juice. So I appreciate you, brother. Already, man. And same here. Hey, you know, you definitely swing through here. I'm trying to get this down there. Oh, yeah, that we got to. Let me cut that off. Yeah, got to, man. And I definitely appreciate when you definitely come through here and bless the uh the scene. Oh, I'm gonna be on the, uh that brother Kale's analyzing that uh maybe Sunday. So yeah, y'all stay okay. tuned with that right there. I was giving everybody else to get it out time, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we'll be breaking that down. That that fraud right there calling the people out probably Sunday, man. So yes, yeah, you know, sir. I I look forward to that. And uh, again, man, a uh, blessing to your family. I hope your nephew's still doing well. Yeah, and uh, and continue to prosper in this in, in, in 2023, man. And I and I hey, continue blessings, man, upon, uh, upon every measure. And may God richest blessing be upon you. All right, thank you, man. And I send it back to you 10 times fold also to share it. Thank you, uh, Miguel. Well, Appreciate it. Yeah. Precious metal, queen. Yeah, this is. This is I'm just sitting yeah. here listening to um, that gentleman speaking, and he was and he's right on it. You know, they don't them, they man. don't even know how to deal with um, people with like um, mental instabilities. Like you know what I mean? They're not trained to see everything they look at is oh they're on drugs. No, mm-hmm. some of these people might need their drugs. Some of these people might need their medication. You never know what kind of thing somebody is going through. And the first thing they think, especially when they come to minorities, is that somebody is high or they are up to no good. You know what I mean? Or they have malice intent. And a lot of times you have people with mental instabilities, Mm -hmm. you know, and they aren't trained to deal with that. They are not. What do we need? And he was right. So what do the police need? Do they need to get? Do they need to somehow spend some money because they got it? Because all them damn that's right. And get some type. Stop of trying to buy all these helicopters and, and crap. You know. So get a de- instead of his check this out, Miguel. Y'all want instead of getting a scorpion team, get a de-escalation team to ride around with them. How about that? How about instead that? How about that? Because they ain't no, they ain't no better than than the ones um that just that just um killed that little boy. And I don't want to call him a little boy. He was a man, but he was in his twenties. Mm-hmm. They just um did that in. Oh my gosh, I know. And I sent out an email to the um to the oh, governor, well, 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 so I know, you, you know, because I'm as soon as I see it happening. I'm on it. I'm emailing whoever got to get emailed. You know what I mean? I'm calling whoever got to be called. I'm a squeaky wheel because it's not it's not resonating with the powers that be that they're in the best place they can be in right now as far as dealing with color folk. You understand? Because now we have lots of us who will be diplomatic about the situation, about these situations. Mm-hmm. But when it comes, when it gets to the point where we're we're not, we, we can't do anything, you know, right. all of the diplomats are older and decrepit, they're going to have to deal with these hard heads. They're going to have to deal with those who intend on showing them who has the power and they are they're not coming with their mouths they're not coming with their words they're not coming with their peaceful marches they just come in and that's not going to be good for anybody i've been saying it and i've been saying it mm-hmm. you know and um then what then what they're going to do you already got a shortage of officers what you going to do when they start dropping like flies cuz mm-hmm. some of these people they're not for it. Some of these young men, they don't want to hear nothing. Mm-hmm. Nothing. You know, they don't want to know nothing about no politics. They don't want to vote. They don't want to do nothing but knock heads. And eventually those heads are going that are going to get knocked are going to be those who have been stomping ours for so long. Mm-hmm. I think it needs to be dealt with. 
Um, I think these officers need to have more attention put on their um, emotional health, on their mm. mental health. Mm, okay. I think that they need to deal with some of their family members as well, like mm. the wives or the um, the spouses. They need to have the same mental health as the officers because they're a direct they're, extension of them. They got to go home and live with these people, you know? I, I feel like... They a, hey, sis, real quick, you made a great point, not to cut you off. They need to do something like that every five or six months due to the... Yes. Since they got a stressful job. But yeah, yes. because, you know, yeah, they need to, like what you they need to do something like every five or six months uh, to the brothers and sisters. Shit. Yes, and I feel like if they did things like that, it would... I mean, things will still happen, but it'll be less of things like with Tyree, mm -hmm. you know, um, that personal stuff that's going to come out. You know what I mean? They can be dealt with accordingly. You understand? Mm -hmm. um, I just feel like the spouses and the children should be brought in to um, the whole fold as far as mental health and everything. Because, I mean, you know, dealing with officers and being married to them and being their children, you know what I mean? That can get stressful, mm -hmm. too. That can get stressful, too. And as far as I know, I've looked and they are not, um, they don't offer the same psychological help to the spouses and the children of these officers. They don't. And they only really make them have these psychological um evaluations when something has gone wrong or awry as far as mm -hmm. they concern. No, I think it needs to be dealt with before it be, before it gets ahead mm -hmm. and decides to bust. I think it should, you know, they letting stuff fester. You know what I mean? Like, and if this was personal, if they would have had some type of you know, um, intervening, you know, especially mm -hmm. with these task force. You know, they're gangs. Scorpion as, squad. If you ask me. And they're then these gangs. dudes, a, from my understanding, what is it, uh, the Q-Dogs, man. Uh, I, oh. I heard on the video today, they said, you know, so look at this little damn click together. These dudes definitely going to whip your ass together they catch you. Yeah, yeah. And I believe he ran because he saw the guy. Mm -hmm. He saw he the guy. Mm -hmm. And he knew that it was going to be a problem. He knew he did nothing. He knew he was being taken, snatched out of his vehicle. Um, I'm just, I'm just finding out um, from my daughter uh, when I called in just now to you that she saw the video. Yeah, I and she's 15. It. And I just, I said to her, I was talking to her, and I said, I'm on here, I'm on here with um, black CEO, and um, y'all know I'm on here spewing out my opinions because they always say, uh-oh, here she come, militant <laughs> midget. You're the right place. We're here. <laughs> they, they, well, they say I'm the militant midget because <laughs> I have something to say when you're doing something wrong to our children. I have something to say. I see you. I hear you. And I remember what you're doing. I remember what you're saying. And I'm going to put it back out there if I have to. Don't do nothing wrong to these kids. That's the problem. That's the problem. It ain't a, it's a village is not raising them anymore. The village is not raising children anymore. My grandmama's neighbors, ooh, better not have caught me doing nothing wrong when I was younger. My mama's hey. neighbors, I don't care nothing about nobody from that church. I better not have been up to the store cussing, being fast, nothing. Mm -hmm. no you know, nothing. exactly. So mm -hmm. um, things just need to be, things need to be brought under a magnifying glass as far as these officers personalized. I'm sorry to say it, but their personal lives have to be magnified as well. If you're going to take that kind of a job and you're going to be, you know what I mean? And you're going to be um, tasked with 
the tasks that some of these people have, the things they have to go into, you know, the things they have to see, stuff that they have to experience and then go home. I think that their family lives have to be have to be aired out a little better. I do, mm. because a lot of times they come to work with a chip on their shoulder from something that their wife or their husband or their child did. OK, yeah, you know okay. what I mean? Mm -hmm. I feel like they have to. I feel like honestly that they should come in the door, and when they come in to check in, they should come in and you know walk in and see their whoever a commanding officer to see them at the beginning of their shift and talk to them, open yeah. up a dialect about what happened after work or what happened during work this week. I think that they should be seen at the beginning of the week when they come in, and at the end of the week they need to be seeing somebody. That's what I think. I think they need to talk to somebody and just as well as they come in and they have to uh, put, you know, uh, they have to come in and punch in. I think that should be mandatory that they speak with someone weekly as mm -hmm. to what's happening inside and outside of their lives. Yeah, that's I really a great do. Point. Yeah, that's a great point because you never know what the hell, you know. Uh, and then, you know, these people, these guys here from what. This right here clearly showed that these guys had some personal coming to damn work, uh, fooling with our yeah. brothers. Me, I mean, it, it just it is it's crazy because okay, like I told Big Five from minutes ago, when I first seen it, you know, my thing was just like, damn, big as these dudes is. I they, I mean, I'm when I first saw it, I'm trying to figure out why they didn't get him in handcuffs. I mean, I can see right the label in New York. Wrap this young boy up, boy by herself, put him in hand. Right. Put, and so first, you know, I went catching it. I was trying to figure out. Then he was able to run. And, and I they was didn't like, oh, want God. him cuffed. Right. And they that, didn't that, want him cuffed. And so when I realized that, it was like, oh, damn. And then I I was like, bruh. And, then, and that by itself, just look at this evil, demonic ass shit over some material or something less that the cop mad over, something less for or whatever, or material. I'm on a. Let's say Leslie, exactly, oh, man, and I can lose my damn life because we're like the same one. Can't fight you back, no, man. Mm -hmm. Right, you hit me and I can't hit you back. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because you're a cop. Like it doesn't make sense how. Uh, it's just it's okay. My thing is, if you've done something wrong, you do need to be punished. All y'all black officers need to be punished, okay. but. That white officer needs to be punished too. Preach. It's no, I wasn't there. No, I he wasn't he here. He said oh, he I didn't, he, they lying. They he he, he sprayed that man. He sprayed okay. him. He okay. sprayed him with the pepper spray. Okay, and don't forget he sat there and watched like he cobbled damn six, like he cobbled yeah. seven. Like he and cobbled he, damn he, seven watches. That's right. He never he didn't call for a paramedic. And then after y'all did all of that, as far as I know. You didn't even, I mean, it would have took you how long to get that boy a paramedic? 20 minutes? And then yeah, you still want to arrest him after you've done it. all this? Queen, when I tell you, if you that video, if you, when you see Tyree laying on the other side of that car and the paramedic oh with the police damn it with his hands in his pocket, sis, and y'all brother oh my God. rolling on the damn street and they're back, boy. Or how do you fire them without arresting them? They've been fired because non treatment. Man, these boy, they ass need to be arrested, man. Right it, now, man. see, this is the thing they're putting. I, I, from what I saw, what I read, mm -hmm. they had those black officers in gen pop. Mm -hmm. When they arrested them, they put them in general population. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the guy. Who put who did that to George Floyd? I forgot what that man's name, David Sharm or something Sherman, like that. Sherman, yeah. Okay. He filed and, a damn appeal. Yeah. So they moved him, had him in solitary, had him by himself. They moved him out of this, the you know, the county that he was in, so mm -hmm. that um, you know, he, he would be hurt. safe. It was all he about his hurt. safety. But y'all gonna oh. take these black officers and just throw them in gym pot. The minute, you know, mm. they do something, it's like, okay, let's make the example now. Let's make them yeah, they be, the be the example, example now. You know what I mean? Yeah. They going that that just, exactly. And a lot of these officers, right. And they, a lot of these officers have gotten to the point where they feel like, oh, we, there's nothing going to be done to us. We're going to have a slap on the wrist. Mm -hmm. We're going to have nothing done to us. 
But what these officers did not realize is that you may be blue as long as they need you to have their back. But the minute they need Ooh. a scapegoat, your ass is black like you been. They just showed us that. <laughs> they got them quick. Please keep that right. same energy, sister, for the next case. Tell them, please keep it, sister. This same yeah. fast speed, pace, and all of this, and that right there. It'll never happen. Be, It'll never happen. If Sir Miguel the reason be why, get yeah, them right. that it's because they were black, and they felt yeah. like, you know, they're yeah. expendable. You know when they come to us, they're going to grab us first anyway. Hey. They got him, brother. Oh my God, Miguel. Hey, how you feel on that? Break. Give, give us some blessings on that, brother. Damn, that was quick. You, you know what? Mm -hmm. The the thing of it is, man, these dudes got bond, and you don't see Black Lives Matter nowhere in in the fray. Uh oh, uh oh. But but yet, uh -oh. let it happen. Let a white officer do it. Y'all want to tear up the city, but y'all didn't tear up the city for this young man. How about yeah, I like it? That. I like that. I like so that. you want to have so you want to have selective outrage at the end of the day. How about my it? question? My question is the chief who was in a, a, Atlanta had the same kind of squad down here. That's why she was fired, if I'm not mistaken. Now mm -hmm. she's in Memphis. Yeah, yeah. They so have, who, did, so yeah. who's fooling who? Hmm. Hmm. All hmm. you're doing is rotating officers with bad records. Wow. Exactly. Yeah. They're allowed to apply somewhere else. Exactly. If her well, record wasn't as good in ATL and she had the same situation that she had to disband another task force down there, why y'all hiring Memphis? Wow. I'm Great. just saying. Great. Huh. And uh, I had a brother say, man, hey, some dude from Memphis would say, man, that's a task force. They say they got something to do with Young Doe. So I don't know if they out there, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we can have it. Sister, you know, I don't know, like the sister said, you know, taking payments and shit or something from these drug boys or look, yeah. you know what I'm saying, little rappers or some shit, man. Yeah. That's crazy though, you know. These mm -hmm. different squads, and then you want to disband it. Put together a damn squad that de-escalates stuff, you know, with mental health and stuff. Uh, Why can't they do that, y'all? If he run, you better kill him. Why run? Right. When you hit a when you hit a Caucasian guy, he's saying, "I hope they stomp his ass." I hope they say, "Why? Mm -hmm. What is it that you know?" Like, okay, why do y'all stop him, bro? Tell me that. Ask them, I like to ask that the the Caucasian guy, "Why the hell does y'all stop him?" That way, I can see in your mind where this brother need ass need to be stomped. You hope they stomp his ass. I, and then you would, well, I saw him. where the oh, police chief was looking over all of the um, footage and they said that they can't find proof of nothing that the written report says. Yeah, they the can't find the proof of the altercations. She was the one you she know? They can't find proof of um, damn the first altercation, they can't find proof of the second altercation, and they don't have anything that proves why they stopped this man. Man, it's crazy. He should never have been stopped. For one, they are not traffic cops. They are a task force. They are not to handle traffic stops. That's not what they out there to do. So what the hell is him here? That's his last name. What the hell is he talking about? Stump they got for y'all. Hey, okay, well, we need to ask him. Why does y'all stop him? And you so mad. He's he the overseer. He's the overseer. That's what it is. You know mm. how they put us out on each other. Mm. He's the overseer. Say, oh. you know, go ahead on it. You know, catch him. Like, you know mm. how they did in slavery. Go catch him. They they wasn't all they wasn't all crackers running behind us, chasing us, bringing us back to the plantation. Most of them they was look. blacks because they, they knew black. how we move. So they need us to trap us. Scorpion five. No, six. They need us to trap us. So, what is the name of the task force? Let me get this. Because Scorpion. there's a task force, not just them. What is this, Governor? There's another task force. And these guys are like, oh my God. They are the worst of the worst. They didn't stop this boy. Mm -hmm. Um, they shot him dead. Oh God, what's this child? And this was recently. And I want to say 
It wasn't. This wasn't. We can say he ran. No, he never got a chance to do anything. He never. They shot that boy up in the car. Man. And it just. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you. I'm pulling it up. No, this was in. Oh my god. This. Okay. This is all happening in Memphis, Tennessee. I want to say. Let me pull up this governor. I can tell you better by my emails. Let's see here. Because I have my emails. Every time I email, you know, one of these people, I have what, to let them know. What experiences have we had with the cops that we sitting up here besides we saying we don't like them? That's another beautiful thing. Because you Don't know, like them? Don't trust them? You know, I mean, you know, in our communities, you know, like I said, I can name, I was saying like two incidents, and it's crazy. I can go through like I remember before I was on, uh, everybody got a Martin Luther King. You know, they're not going to fix our Martin Luther Kings up. But I, know, I never forget from a distance, I seen uh, a police car coming, car straight. I think I was driving my new girlfriend's car, tearing my hat like this before he got up on me. Yeah, they put those blue lights on me, I'm turning my hat to the back. What is it? What, man, I needed registration. They had to let me go. Everything was straight. I'm sitting there. It ain't my car. Oh, brother, the license plate tag dirty. They were saying all types of stuff, like actually dirt on it. Like, you ain't made a can't got dirt on it. Not like you're dirty. I mean, all types of stuff. I'm sitting there like, what the hell? Because before they got to the light, it was a little distance. I need to make a lift. And uh, I just turned my hat to the back. Man, by the time I can get in that light, they had me pulled over by the gospel singer Shirley Caesar. The gospel singer, man, they had me, her church. Once you make that left, it's like two houses right there. Man, they had me pulled over in her, you know, the little church she frequent here. Mm. And just all over the inspection sticker, all in the back. Uh, uh, and I'm handing them stuff. I'm like, damn. In my mind, I'm like, I ain't doing that no more. I mean, I was like, I'm not going to do that no more. I ain't, and I really wasn't trying to mess with them. I just turned it back. This, man, it was on my ass because I turned my hat to the back. And when I tell you that guy was from the inspection sticker, he was touching it and, and he couldn't find nothing. Damn, you ain't got no charges, no, sir. Uh, well, you, like, I'm finished going over to some family house. And, you know, and it's crazy. They be ready. I seen people where didn't have a charge. Guys in them ride through like a good, like a nice neighborhood going to get some food. They pull them over, ask them where they going. Why the fuck you mm -hmm. got to ask them where they going? I don't care if this is a white neighborhood, rich or whatever. Ain't this America? Don't I pay damn taxes? Yeah, and Gabe, and Gabe told the dudes, yo, I'm gonna get, well, you just got your first charge. Do like 18 and 19. That's messed up. That's what we have to hear. I mean, they tell you that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, well, you just got your first charge. You got a clean record. And this guy, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And it's it's sad as, you know, uh, African-Americans, you know, when we do encounter that, man, and, and what the police will say to you, you know? I got to have one told me in New York, I'm green. I'm walking through Brooklyn. I'm Fulton. We going shopping. Walk past the police car up and look over. He asked me what the fuck I was looking at. Keep walking. That threw me out, scared the hell out of me at the same time. I ain't no, I mean, it tripped me out. I look back, but then when I zoom my eyes and he's sitting with his arm out, he was like, what the hell are you looking at? He was like, keep walking. He pointed a little bit, keep walking. Then he seen the white cop kind of look around. Man, threw me the hell off. Well, I turned around and the New York dude that I'm with, JJ, yeah, man, don't pay him no attention, but just come on, man. Don't, man, I ain't, man, I'm looking like, what the hell? I mean, dude was like, I wish you would. I'm just friendly walking with the boys. I'm behind them, and I just have to look at the police guy. It was a wrap. Dude, like, don't even look at me, man. Don't even look at me. Keep walking. All right. Let me keep this shit walking, bro. Let me keep you walking. Yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, some unfortunately, some of them act like that, man. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you could just be standing on the sidewalk, mm -hmm. getting ready to cross the street. They'll pull you over, whatever the case may be. I had a mm -hmm. situation one time. I was okay. in my, I, had, I was just working on my car. Okay. Just finished, whatever, and, I, and I, the school had called me to, to come up to my daughter's school. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. I make a right, I'm going westbound. The po I see the police way on the other side of the street. So as soon as I make a left towards the school, they come right behind me. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, well, what happened? Pull over, ask for license registration. No, first they said, are you on you know, probation or parole? I was like, no, why? What the hell? Like, That's need offensive. Yeah, you don't need to ask me no questions. I said, I have every right to ask you a question because you pulled me over for what reason? License registration. Give it to him. 
They come back, oh, well, you don't have no license plate on the front, which I knew was a lie. My license plates were on the front and the back. You know what I mean? So they just yeah. going – something that probably should have took maybe five or ten minutes at, at best, 45 minutes. Wow. And, of course, they didn't have anything. It was just, you know, just harassing whatever, this, that, and the third. But, you know, you have people that act like that, man, that, that wear badges. Wow. And then, of course, then you have some people that act like that without badges. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it, 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 it's crazy, um, like I said, where, where we're at. But at the end of the day, we really shouldn't be surprised. Mm-hmm. We really shouldn't be shocked. And at the, and I think we, you know, uh, and one pap said this in the chat, we need more action at the end of the day. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Now, what what that entails you have to come up with some type of plan because at the end of the day, this this stuff is getting out of control. It's getting out of control. Facts. So, facts. I look at it like, man, I, it made me want to talk to like these police commissioners or the chiefs and ask mm-hmm. them why. Even if, even if I stole a piece of bubble gum, and if I'm scared of you, man, from my experience, and I run, and my son run, why do he have to be hit with a bullet? Right, I'm running away from you, you know, that's like a little topic, and it's many things, but that part right there, bro, you know what I'm saying? Let's bring all the brothers. They may say, Hell, why you don't go in the rest? I mean, if that's like me going in a store, buy me a blunt, I can I can maybe smoke the blunt and the cigar, not not rolling no weed. I get pulled mm-hmm. over, I'm going to jail. They'll call that paraphernalia. But damn it, go right. damn lock up the damn general store. The sit goes the people that's selling it to me. Don't have something in here. And then when I come out with it, I can get charged with it. You know, little right. simple ass stuff that they catch our young boys with. You right. know, that's the p- 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 Well, ain't nothing in it. Even if he got this shit bust open and these guys catch charges young, no, no, man, forget it. And that shit be wrong, man. It be wrong, bro. You know, mm-hmm. when you do look at this whole police situation, man. I think they need to have some type of de-escalation squad instead of damn scorpion squad. Somebody right. that's going to scare us. Get somebody that's going to de-escalate the damn thing. Because when you look at this guy real quick, this guy ain't got no damn legs. Y'all shot him like nine. And, and, and you know, I'm looking like, okay, I seen a guy that's in the hospital that said, shit, come on, the dude right here that's on the ground ain't no hero. I've been stabbed. This showing where he was stabbed. Okay, but damn, y'all shot him like what is it like 13 times in the back? Something like that. I mean, he ain't got no feet. He on stubs like a champ, you know? Yeah, I count at least nine shots from like that one man. And and he, yeah, he was nice. He run on it, but damn, man. Okay, you done wrong, bro. You did stab the guy. Then I turn around, look at the damn police. Like, bro, like, you're doing too much. Like Tyree Nichols telling them, man, like, damn, y'all doing too damn much, bro. Well, well, just a couple of weeks ago, we had another situation in L.A. where a uh, young man was in a car accident. Mm-hmm. And he was kind of he he called the police. Damn, I remember doing that. Go ahead, bro. Damn. And uh, they end up getting in a little situation. I, they tasered him so many times, man. Or something Word. happened, but he ended up dying. School teacher, yeah, young brother, man. Oh my god, and that man. was a that was a you know. And then for this to happen right after that, I'm going, well, damn, you know, it's crazy. Wow, okay, yeah. You say you out there in LA. Wow, bro. And we don't even hear that. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, sir. You're right, man. A task force in all cities. Mm-hmm. All cities. They say they need it. All cities, man. And my you know, I be telling my son that my son is 25, 26, you know, man. And it's good, man. Talk. Well, you know, man. I ain't trying to do nothing to be liable, Dad. I ain't trying to do nothing wrong, man. I ain't trying to get to nobody, and it feels good. And, and you know, but it's scary. I'm like, Precious Mel, hell, I have a son. I got nephews, man. I got a whole damn clan. And, you know, I, I ain't think, no, I grow up damn worried about they little badasses running in the yard, tearing up my mother. Right. Stop tearing up your damn grandma house. I ain't tied up. And, like, yeah. now, you know, they pull up, they little hats to the back, or these skinny jeans, or whatever and shit, and then it's like seven of them because they got so many, you know, I ain't got number of boys, men around me, man. So the times when they come, shit, it might be nine of them come up and what's up, huh? Yeah, family. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? And it's just, 
Boy, I have to put it in God's the Lord, y'all weigh the most high hands, man, at times, bro. I'd be like, damn, boy, do you know, protect these guys. But we still call yeah. them our baby first, Mel the Dome. We still call them our babies, boy. That's our damn baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can't help it. You can't help but to call them babies because uh, of the way that the, they're being treated. And like I was saying, this task force that I was talking about was in Mississippi, mm -hmm. where they killed Jalen Lewis. Ooh, um, okay. They shot that boy in his head while he was in the car. Um, they mm. hadn't given they 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 hadn't given his family. Um, they it took them forever to give the family his body. They hadn't, wow. as far as I know, about three weeks ago, they still hadn't had the autopsy report. Like they wow. were doing this family really really bad, and the, wow. um, the task force is. Um, the governor put the task force together. Not even the police. Yeah, did. The governor put this task force together. Damn, I can see that. You said Mississippi? Yeah. Mm. In Mississippi. Um it happened in uh it happened in September that just passed. September just passed. Mm -hmm. Um in Mississippi. Um Jalen Lewis, uh they the details surrounding it. Um, you know, they said it's, it's in secrecy. Uh, uh, they, the, there was a female in the car with him when he was murdered. Um, like I said, a, a cop got out in front of him with his gun drawn while they were driving. All that child did was come out and spin the block. He hadn't even you know, gotten to where he wanted to go. He went down, came back around and spun the block and they were on him. He didn't know that they, you know, those two children, they didn't know that they were cops. You know, you got your lights off, your headlights off, you coming up on me. You know what I mean? And you coming aggressively and then the next thing you know, you got a cop standing in front of you with his gun drawn and this boy was shot in his head in the car. And they still haven't given this family what they need to go on. And they aren't going to give them what they need to go on. And this is why I emailed the governor and I let him know that I'll be emailing him every week. Just in case he seems to, just in case this slips his mind. And I also let them know I would be putting the word out and I would be having other, other concerned parents other concerned adults, other citizens that would be emailing him, making phone calls to his office as well. Because it's getting to the point where things are going to get physical. It's already gotten physical on their end. Things are going to get really physical. I was here in Baltimore when that stuff got physical here. You know, they trapped us all down on a certain part of town that I didn't even live in. They made it seem like people were just, you know, trying to come out and loot and do this. No, what they did was trap people on a certain side of Baltimore City to where you couldn't even walk to get back to the other side. They had mm. like the cops were hand to hand through alleys and things. Where you could, they had us trapped exactly. They were making it seem like, oh, they burning up pharmacies. They doing it. Yeah, people were doing things, hey, military, but they were military not reporting what, what was really going on. They were not reporting that. They were not reporting that they had parents looking for their children that were locked down inside of a subway station. You know, they didn't have none of that. They just were reporting. Hey on the looting and all of that. And, you know, I had all my family calling me from down there in Chester, like, oh, my God, baby, um, what are you doing? Are you okay? And you this and you that. And I couldn't even talk to them because I was trapped. When was this? This, this was the Freddie Gray. This was when oh, okay. all this stuff happened with Freddie Gray. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Damn, they trapped us good. all down on a certain side of town. People were trying to pick their children up from school. You know, and they just, you know, they made it seem like everybody was out there looting, fighting, doing all that. No, it wasn't. They were trapping us on one side of the city. They had it where so you couldn't drive through a certain way. Mm -hmm. Like they always put out a narrative that looks bad on us. They always yeah. make it to where it's though, oh, this just came out of nowhere. 
oh, they see that they're animals. No, we're not animals. We're just being backed into the corner like them. Well, and when you get animals. backed into a corner, you're going to come out. I don't give a damn if you're an ant or a squirrel. When you're backed into a corner, you're going to try to fight your way out. You know, you know they had they got a pandemic that's going on since the pandemic. They had that opioid. They don't speak on that. That thing huh. is bad in their community. Like I, mm -hmm. crack man, they in Corona. I don't know. I'm gonna tell you, North Carolina, bro. Every at one point, everywhere you went, you see one of them at the gas station with an ambulance. Where you got they shooting them, up, hitting them off with a pen. Yeah. Man, I'm, Man, my peoples be like, damn, man, I'm up at the way. I mean, when I tell you all across town, these people was pulling in gas stations with kids in the car, just like you would see it on TV. I mean, these uh. people doing it at Wendy's. And I mean, down here, you uh. know, uh, you remember on the news, I'm going to say, I think it was a famous soccer player. And from my understanding, you know, say she was asleep or whatever, but bruh, that was right when it was going on. That uh. old solo lady. And uh, I was shocked. I was like, no, the hell. Now, I know uh, all these other different people that we don't know out here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because everywhere you look, a gas station, man, people's pulling in gas stations. I guess they were shooting up, popping it all the way through this damn Rona. Yeah, they're not going to put that out. They're not going to put out how bad things are for their community. Yeah. And, and unless it's make something that they feel like we're at fault for. Then yeah. they're going to put it out there. They're going to let it be known, oh, this is what's yeah. happening due to Blasey Block. Yeah, but they never put middle. out what's really happening with them. Mm -hmm. That's just their root. That's just it. They not going to do it. And, and you know, we just saying, be fair. we just telling Queen, we just saying, be fair and don't play the mind games. Exactly. And try to tell us what we are. When it's just, and see us as brothers, says, we don't mind. We cool. We 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 like almost forgive you. We get relaxed, but don't take advantage of that. And we can be some damn understanding people because our we can be, but we can be savages too. Uh, that's what they need to. That's what they need to pay attention to. Yeah, and that's what they're scared of. It ain't, ain't it, Miguel? That's what they're scared of, man. And you know, right. neutralization, man. As long right. as we get right. our word out there without getting neutralized peacefully and all of that, man, you good. They want to keep us docile so that we don't act the fool. They say we act a fool, but God knows they know we not. You know, mm -hmm. they know that we are not acting the fool the way that they that, the way that we could be. Mm -hmm. They just put it out there that we are, you know, because a lot of people just don't come out. They don't go places, you know what I mean? They do, they go to work, they, you know, they may go to church, they deal with their children in their home. So what they do is they report on all of the things that would scare everyone about us. You know, they make sure they report on that highly. Okay, because there's a lot of things that don't hit the news about us. A lot of good things that don't hit the news about us. A lot of mm -hmm. things that they do to us that don't hit the media. And that's why I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful for, you know, people like you that can come out and bring others out. Mm -hmm. And give us a way to talk to each other, open up the dialect, hear each other, mm -hmm. because they don't allow it. They keep the other noise so loud around us that we really can't hear each other. They make the problem so big that we can't see each other. Exactly. Um, they speed up things. You know, like I noticed, like with the testing for children in school. They'll give a test for children, and they'll say black children don't do as well with these tests. Well, because they're geared to white children, or they're geared to a certain type of social group. Mm -hmm. Whereas, though, okay, they'll ask a question on a test, and it'll maybe be um, multiple, you know, multiple answers. You have to choose from that. Okay, now they, the question will might be. How many people, it may be a twin size bed. How many people sleep in this bed? A, one, B, two, three. I mean, you know, C, three, or um, uh, maybe D, none of the above. So you may have a black, a white child that says one. They pick A, 
And of, of course, that is what the correct answer is when it is for that social group. Mm. But then you may have another child from another social group see the same twin bed and they put pick the answer two. And they're marked wrong. That's not wrong. That's what they're used to. Right. We got two in the bed here. You understand what I'm saying? You know, you somebody at the top, somebody at the bottom. That's how it was with me and my cousins. Me and my girl cousins. Somebody at the top, somebody at the bottom. The bed was big enough. It was three of us. Mm -hmm. Two at the top, one at the bottom. Somebody in the middle. Oh, you know school. what I mean? Or we lay long ways. So they give yeah. things for us to fail. Is You know, they ask the question that would allow us to fail. Mm. They, you know, that's how they do things. I've looked at these tests and I see where certain things, and I'm like, well, you could say one would be the answer, but why is it that one can't be the answer and well, A can't be the answer and B can't be the answer? Because in, in, in this neighborhood, we got two to this bed. Now, these white folks or whoever got whatever they have, may have one child in this bed. It should not be geared to where as though we are always wrong. It should not be geared to where as though the things that we experience are not experiences. They are just things that happen with us. You know, that's how they make things seem. The narrative is we can't learn. We don't learn. We can't teach because we don't know what they want taught, like everything is painted to be the lowest of the totem pole for us. So when we're treated that way, it's just like, okay, that's the norm. It's the norm. And people have gotten to the point where they, you know, they're used to it. Like, okay, we got to talk to our kids about driving while black and all that. Yes, it's important mm -hmm. to do so because we know what they will do to them. We know what their reality is. It's to the point our kids can't walk while black. True. Drop them while black. They True. can't walk while black. You know, um, and like I said, um, I'm in Baltimore and um, there used to be a cop here and his name when I was in high school and his name was Nicholas Constantine. And this big Italian cop would come through and so help me God, everybody was afraid of him. Yeah, okay. Everybody we had was afraid of him because of what he would do. Yeah. You know, he would put things on you, they snatch you up, put you inside this car, wear you out. You know what I mean? Let wow. let people see you riding with them and things like that. So you look a certain kind of way in the neighborhood, yeah. you know. So I mean, yeah. the way that they, they put things out on us, people never mm. really they never really see it. They never really see Damn, it. that tactic right there. Okay, that tactic where you said he puts you in the car and rides you around in front of people. To, to, man, that's some dangerous yeah. stuff. Ride you through the block. And you wow. know what I mean? And make it seem like yeah. you just in there mm. chilling, giving information, you know, Damn. just doing things that you're not doing, which puts yeah, them in a fun. bad, bad trick bag. So now you got to deal with them. Because wow. you got all these people on you now. You know, you got to deal with them. They would even put out things. Or beat boys, you know what I mean? Take things from them. You know, have have put, 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 they pit us against each other. They always mm -hmm. have. They know there's no win when it comes to them against us. So they pit us against each other so that mm -hmm. they have a chance at a win. Willie Lynch. And we're usually exactly, exactly the making Willie. of a slave. And I have to tell my children. Ooh, I've explained this to my children several times. Like um, I remember being a little girl and they were filming Mississippi Burning in Chester. Um I got down there, just so happened to be, I was out of school, and I would go every summer. Like, I didn't stay in Baltimore. My mama always took me back down south. I didn't, you know, she didn't. Night, night, I was just with my family. So, 
what we did, we would get down there. They were filming this Mississippi bird. Okay. And um, they were asking for people to come through so that they could have people to come through, be extras and things like that. Mm. So me, I'm green. I'm a little baby. I'm probably about nine. And um, it had gotten dark. And they say, um, well, they're going to um, stop auditions and stop people from coming up until the next day. Well, they used to always tell us, don't go up to the road. We, we, you know, Chester is like, everything is really pretty much off the road, you know, back yeah. up in Dawson and all of that. It's, it's not, you know, you're not going to find a house on the road. So they would tell us, you know, don't go up to the road. And um, as a child, I never knew really what that was. They would be like, don't you go up to the road. You know, them Ku Klux going to get you. <laughs> and, you know, as a child, this is what I was told. You know, I was born in the 70s. So as a child, I was told, you know, them Ku Klux going to get you. And now I'm like, oh, you know, you don't know what the hell that is. You're a child. You don't know. So um, I'm thinking that, okay, I'm going to go up to the road. I see all these lights up here. Oh, they coming mm -hmm. in a parade is what I say. Oh, they coming in a parade. They still, they still want people to be in the movie. This is me as a mm. child. I'm thinking I'm going to go up to this road. And I see all these lights. I'm thinking it's a parade. So help me God on everything. I told my children this before. Mm. And just as I get up there, they say, come back. That ain't no, that ain't no parade. And I'll be damned if I did not see these knights riding. They were, mm. they were coming through. And I guess they were trying to catch people that were like walking from the auditions and you know, things of that nature, but it was the Ku Klux Klan. Okay? And um, it's things that I've experienced that I try to impress upon my children because they don't know. They see it, they read it, they hear it, but they don't know. This is you know, sick. until they are experiencing these things, which we don't want them to do. Mm. We don't want them to experience this driving while black, walking while black. We want them to know, but we don't want them to experience it. Preach. My heart goes out to these parents that have gone through what they have gone through. Um, mm -hmm. And if you count it up, I just said the, the guy, Jalen, that was in September. Um, yeah. This The amputee that's been killed. Um... Tyree, um, that's three within what September? That's three within six, seven months. That's not even a year. That's three that have been killed by cops. Three of our black men, three of our young black kings. I don't care what they did. Everybody, everybody has a chance to change. The Lord gave us a will Preach. to do or to don't. And we need a chance to change, a chance to do right. We also need the opportunity, not just the chance, but the opportunity. There needs to be things set up for us, you know, and, and my thing is with these black officers, they need to understand they ain't always being hired just because they're being hired so they can be a scapegoat. Yes, they are. They are being hired so they can be scapegoats. Because they know that things are getting to the point where it's boiling over. So why go in it? So, so these are some knucklehead buttheads that's going there from already feeling like this. Because uh, uh, Okay, here's the thing. So being a police, do you think, I look at it like these ones here. You can see that group, that little power or some stuff. The Scorpion. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got this power. So these people, so we get these brothers, and and we already know, you know, the other ones. They love and power, but these right here didn't understand they had power, but they didn't know the power over them or some shit. These right exactly. here, exactly, they're flunkies. They didn't realize it. Mm, man, they coming in like yeah, you know, that's that's scary, y'all. This is scary, 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 scary. Yes, right it here. is. They you they are, they were scapegoats. And, and they thought that they were all, somebody, you know, they, they feel work. like they part of the group. Is they but some they're kind of really not. Cabo fix? I want to huh. say some kind of Cabo now. 
Mm. They probably are. But if they ain't, they are now. Yeah, they they because their names taste like shit in our mouth. Yeah. So they if they ain't, they are Put now. Mm. And I'm I'm really I'm over the fact that you know this they just taking they're deleting our young black kings. They're deleting our young black queens. They're trying to erase us, which it can't be. But they're giving it a damn good try. Mm -hmm. Seems like for years, bro, they've been trying. It's like you bring us here, but now you done stepped in the shit. So you done went out your way to bring us here, mm -hmm. and you done stepped in the shit. You can't get rid of us. It's like, um, like they say, you you want something, you want to hide something from a black person, put it in a book. In a book. Mm -hmm. You know, put it in words. And my thing with that, it could be true to some degree, but this is a narrative that they put out after we were told that if we could read, we would be killed. You you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This we were we were from the beginning of it. You can read these words, you die. We find out you read, your children die, your wife mm -hmm. dies. You you know what I mean? You're not supposed to read. But then later on, if you want to hide something from a nigga, put it in a book. Uh uh, you don't get to do that. You don't get to do that because you did not hide things from us in books. That's what you didn't do. Uh oh, preach. You didn't hide it. You put it there and you made it where it was forbidden for us to go. Mm, I like that. You didn't hide it. It was right in front of us. It was just forbidden fruit. It was something that we couldn't have. So it's not like we didn't want it. We didn't mm. want what came along with it. And so generation after generation, it's it's embedded into our DNA to be and to do certain things based on how we were geared when, when they brought us here. We just have to break from that. You understand? We just have to do what God gave us the ability to do, and that's choose. Mm. Choose to do what you know to be right. Don't say, oh, well, they say this is right and they say this is wrong because who the hell is they? You do what you think is right. I like You that, speak man. up for what you speak up for because you feel as though it is right. It will be a better place. It'll be a better place. Don't just jump up there because, oh, everybody else is saying it. No, you say it because you feel it's right. You do it because you feel it's right. People will follow suit. Mm -hmm. We need to boycott things. You know what I mean? We It's like we don't want to let go of stuff. You know? We need to boycott. We need to not go certain places. We need to stop eating certain things. We need to stop drinking certain things. We need to stop going to certain places, watching certain things, ordering certain uh, 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 apps and, and TV plans and things. Mm -hmm. And we need to research more about what these things that we're doing are doing to or for us. Because a lot of times we're paying to fuck our own selves up. God knows we are. Right. We spend more money than anybody. And that's the truth. And we're supposed to be the poorest. We spend more money and more time going places and doing things. Preach. It's us that make stuff go around. So it's a different type of slavery. Okay, there's a different type of slavery going on. Mm -hmm. And it's not recognized. Wow, so we got to uh, wake the folk up and tell them, look, okay, because they got this smoke strain out here. And here's another thing where they really doing it too, sis, through the music, like I was saying the other day. Um, yes. I think, 
think preachers need to be out here. And I'm a, I want uh, Miguel to tune in on this. It's just like an idea I put out that these preachers need to be up at these record companies because these record companies are demanding our boys to say hoes, bitches, whores, shoot them, blow his damn head off, take it off and blow it. No, they don't get it. When I went to record companies, it wasn't that. When I went to Job Records, when I went to Sony Records, when I went to Electric Records, uh, all these different places, man, and where I definitely see a change. And I sit here and I look at Safe and Soda. I don't listen to that devil music. Well, let's go get the guy that's taking our damn young people, not knocking the pastors, and 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 have a word of prayer with them. Lil Colin and all these distributors, all these people, these pastors, man, black and white, need to get out there, man. But you know, it's sad I see, you know, and I'm not knocking them, but I'm calling them out for that because we need them. You have to. You know what I'm saying too damn. Uh, get get go to these record companies. They making billions of dollars. These Jewish yep. people, kids with respect, would never have to work a day in their life, as long as they people's own record companies and stuff. And then our artists, they blow you up. They give you the fame. Lucy the Goat. Lucy the Goat is the fame. You know what I'm saying? But it's hell though. You only get right. the fame. You only get the fame. Of, That's of right. It's like right. making it in the NFL. But you guarantee the fame. And when that fame yeah. comes. How the hell is you going to hold up? And so that's what these pastors need to go up there. And people need to, you know, we can try to teach them our boys, but it's hard. It's hard, though. But, you know, mm -hmm. they need to, I think they need to go up there and see what uh, these 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 demonic record companies are putting out, making, you know, giving these guys $20,000, $100,000 and giving yep. these 60 deals. And it's, it's sad. You know, only a few can come out there and say, this is mm -hmm. make that make that money or branch out, but it's still sad, you know, under these yep. damn contracts. So and uh and we sad. need to do more stuff like that too. Instead of putting money into concerts, oh we about to get up and we about to go do this this um we about to go to Mexico. We about to do all of this. No. Take some of your change, put it to the side, and when something like this happens and we all need to clink up, we all need to get to get together. We all maybe maybe need to get to Baltimore. We all maybe need to get to North Carolina, we maybe need to get to Memphis, mm. we maybe need to get to Mississippi. This is what we need to do. We need to well, invest in some each organizations other. Organizations need to be started, Queen. Not to cut you off, not year back. Some, some, some organizations need to be started. I'm going to say that in year back because you're right. Yeah. We, 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 we just have to, we have to come together, but we got to come with an objective in mind that it's to help our children okay it's mm -hmm. to help our children because you know times are only getting worse and worse um i i always heard my grandmama tell say my mom telling my mama oh we didn't do things like that i didn't lie that we were alive that you know and then my mother and them telling me like oh we can't we couldn't play cards you know, in mama's house and we had to go outside on the porch and these things, you know, we're raised and we know this, but um, then I would have my mother to say, oh, we didn't do things like that. Woo, that stuff y'all smoke, it ain't smell like that when my brother had it, you know, just, you know, things that my mama said, ooh, that smell like pee, that ain't nothing y'all should be smoking, but it just it's like times are changing and yes, we have to change with them but we also had to stand firm for the things that we don't want it to change into. You know, you had to say, uh-uh, we're not going to do that. You know, yo, we can't do that. No, my grandmama didn't allow it, and I'm not allowing it. It kept this and this from happening. This whoop -de -whoop didn't happen. You know, some things we just have to stand on. We cannot waver. Some things we just have to, that's what it's going to be, and that's what it is. We have to. Because what they're doing is they're throwing money, you know, monetary gain, and like you said, fame, mm -hmm. into the ring. And it's like they're making our, our kids fight for this fame. But what do you what, what what are you really famous for? You know, what are you famous for? You're famous because you're 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 a rapper and you're married to a rapper. You're famous because you're having children and, and you're you. an entertainer. Right. It's and like spitting garbage out to the uh, young folk. Yes. Yes. And the things that come up in the music are so mm. terrible. Like I was listening to like, OK, with Beyonce, I've never been her fan. 
Mm-hmm. But yeah, we talk about rappers and things like that. But you got R and B artists that are really undercover, like doing demonistic things. Um, Lemonade. Uh, uh, what's the name of that song? That Lemonade song. Mm. She's uh, Beyonce talks about plugging up her mincy with Bible paper. Mm. In that in that song, she talks about taking oh, Bible right. paper and rolling it up and using it for her menstrual as a tampon. Mm. And see, people don't, you know, people don't pay attention to things like that. They're so busy singing it and rapping it. But are you listening to the things that are being said? She got me look. I only ain't listening to that one. So damn. Yeah, when you when she starts off on the record, she starts saying about all the things she did and didn't do for this person. She's talking it out, and then before she starts to sing it, she says, "I plug up, I plug my menses with Bible paper." I mean, oh my right. god! Right. You can listen to it. Go look at the words. Okay, the words are right there. It's in the Lemonade song, so it's not right. just the rappers. It ain't mm. just the rappers. No, mm. it's it slid in Damn. everywhere. Yeah, it slid in say. everywhere. Mm-hmm. And it's like you you see how shocking that is to know that somebody of her stature, somebody who was born in the Bible Belt, would be saying things like this mm-hmm. to our little girls and our young women that wow. feel as though she is the cream of the crop. So in order for you to be the cream of the crop like her, you got to feel like it's okay to even talk about wow. plugging yourself with Bible paper and things. And then nobody talks about it. Damn, it just goes it. like nobody heard it. They and sing the it, nobody, nobody heard it. it. So sis, it ain't nobody boycott that. No. Nobody has said anything. And I've known about these words since the song first came out. Damn, they ain't paid that song no attention. Damn. And wow. it's just, it's unreal. And, and it's, that's not the only song. There's a lot of other songs that are out there that are geared towards making us move as far away from mm-hmm. the Lord as it can. Mm-hmm. You know, um, there's a lot of things going on that um, don't seem like they're coming for us, but it's their their sights are set on us. Yeah, it I may not seem them. like they're that, but their sights are set. Yeah, I'm well, I've been checking it out in these commercials, though, Queen. You know what I'm saying? And I look at commercials these days, be like, "What the hell?" I mean, I'd yeah. be like, "What the hell?" I don't know, Miguel. Hey, make sure you chime in too, bro. I'm just listening, brother, because uh, I know you said something about the pastors. That, you know, if you look at a lot of these preachers, they mm-hmm. becoming just like rock stars, too. They want the bling, this, that, and the third, and I always tell people, God's true minister don't wear, the, it's not, not vast by material, mm-hmm. money. Mm-hmm. You don't need no license to preach. You don't need no theology school. Oh, he's gonna get man. the word directly oh, from dude. God Himself. Oh, and he's gonna spit that fire. And mm. guess what? When that truth hits you, mm. you either gonna stay or you're gonna run. But yeah. see, if I curtail the truth and give you the truth on emotions, oh, you're gonna oh, stay. But when I give it to you directly from oh, the scriptures, and you have to go within the layers of the scripture to get to the root of what's being said, you're gonna stay away because you're not gonna understand mm. what's being said. You to understand spiritually and go to the next dimension. So a lot of them ain't gonna stand on that because they on that five hundred three C thing with you know nonprofit and still making money. And of course the government can come in and say, "Hey, I don't want you saying that." Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Ooh, yeah. My God. So you got a lot of cats sitting in the pews looking at the preacher, thinking mm. you know he the savior, but he ain't. He just talking that gibberish that he got from theology school. At the end yeah, of the day. he's there. Set, but they put out there for for us to be, um, you know, just something for us to pay attention to, so that we don't pay attention to what's real. Yeah, low to put, pretty much putting you to sleep while you're awake. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they feel like that's the way to come at us. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. you know, come at us through our spirituality. Come at us that way. You know, come at us through our children. Destroy us that way. Mm -hmm. You know, um, they feel as though, and, and, and they're absolutely right. You know, if you look at the art of war, what they're doing is what is what they're supposed to be doing to defeat their enemy. Mm -hmm. We're just not doing what we're supposed to do. Right. Some of us don't even know what we're supposed to do. You know, some of us have never been told what to do. Some of us have never even seen somebody do what they're supposed to do. So mm -hmm. we just don't know. You know, we don't have clear guidelines. Like with Willie Lynch, when he came over to to deliver the speech, making of a slave, mm -hmm. they listened. They followed those directions. It's us who don't listen and follow directions. And that's not necessarily because we don't want to. A lot of times we don't know who to listen to. True. We don't know what direction to follow. Because we've been thrown so many monkey wrenches. We've been thrown so many distractions. We've been thrown so many things to make us look the other way. We don't know which way is right. We don't know who to follow. We don't know who to vote for. So we're confused. Well, a lot of times people, you know, even when it comes to voting, people vote off emotions. Instead exactly. of just looking, you know, when they send the pamphlet out, I know it's a little thick. Sit down and read it if you can. Just like they hold their votes in Congress, you can do the same thing too. You sure can withhold is. your vote. You don't have to vote every two years. You don't have to vote every four years. If their things are not lining up in terms to help you, then guess what? Hold it. They do the same thing every day. I can do it. And in it and even and even in and even in with the Republicans and the and, and the Democrats or whatever, they have so many divisions and groups within their own party, they don't even know what direction they're going in. Mm, facts. Because everybody wants to be the boss. But at the same time, these are the same people that hold the purse. And the wallet, and you thinking that the president can do this? The president can only do so much. He just a symbol to handle government business, mm -hmm. and that's all it is. Mm. But the groundwork starts on the local level, and I'll encourage everybody if you haven't read his book, Doctor Claude Anderson speaks on power nomics. Wait a minute, let me write that down. Wait a minute, I only had my book out. You said Claude Anderson? Dr. Claude Anderson, yes, ma'am. He'd be uh he be on your boy show, don't he? Uh uh, uh Boys Watkins? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, yeah. I, I uh do that. I'd be in the bushes or something like that. I I had the honor of, of seeing him at Fred Price's church a couple of times. Word. And uh yeah, in a couple of bookstores uh, out here in LA. Ooh. And when I say his information is so vital Ooh, and the God. stuff that he brings out, man, it mm. makes you really, it re he really breaks it down to the point where the economic blueprints and stuff are right there. I had to, I had to pull the book out and go back through it again the other day. Mm. But he's, wow. he's a valuable elder, man. I, and if any, if anybody, whether you're in the chat, if you get a chance to go look at some of his old videos on YouTube, Look at some of the stuff that he does with uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins. Look at some of his stuff that he talks about with uh, who else he be on? Uh, I can't think right offhand, but he has a wealth of knowledge, man. Wealth. Of What's knowledge. the name of the book again? You say it. Po Poweronomics. Yeah, I peeped him out. I did a video when I first came out. He was breaking something down. I used some of his video and audio, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Damn, I can't remember what it was, bro. Do you yeah. guys, um, are y'all familiar with Hidden Colors? Yes. Okay. They have part one, two, three, four, and five. Mm -hmm. um, there is a wealth of knowledge there. It's it, true indeed. There is a indeed. wealth of knowledge there. Have you, are you familiar with colors. that? Yeah, make a said to the chat too. You says Hidden Colors. colors. Hidden Colors. Um, yeah, Tariq, Tariq Nasheed. Yes, and it is it is chock full of information 
for for uh, you know us brown people. I mean, chock full of it. You know, it it gives you information that they have never given you in the synopsis of his story. Okay, because mm -hmm. like I always say, history is his story. His story. In his POV, not ours. That's not our story. That's his story. His story. So that's why it's put up there. History. That's his story, not ours. So in Hidden Colors, if you go, there are five different um there are five different chapters. And um it is chock full of different um entertainers, different um speakers, um Shahara Zad, uh lover. Um, oh yeah, much much respect to her as well. Yes, yes, and um, what you do, you sit and you sit with your children, and you watch it. Mm -hmm. You okay. allow them to see. They show you where, um, you know, like things they don't tell us about. What they tell us in slavery. Oh, you did this. They did that. You did this. They don't tell us about the breeding farms. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? They didn't tell us about where the word motherfucker comes from, mm -hmm. because that's why I always tell them the word motherfucker comes from the breeding farms that they had us on. Some farms we did not work on. They were breeding farms where they just bred babies, slaves mm -hmm. for people to buy. So um, if they felt like you were a strong uh, worker or you were big or you were whatever they needed you to be and they needed to pair you with someone of that likeness, whether it was your son, your grandson, your, your brother, whatever it was, they made y'all reproduce. Mm -hmm. And so what they would do, um, because I guess they found it hardest for the mothers and sons to procreate, they would put a hood over their heads um, so that they could make them do these things mm -hmm. and to have these babies. And that's what the word motherfucker comes from. That's why I tell kids, watch the things you say. Know where it's coming from. And Please. I sure do. I told my kids, that's co motherfucker comes from when they used to make us mate with our sons and our sisters. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. our, you know, and, and our daughters and things of that, that nature. That's what the word motherfucker comes from. Not only that um, they had breaking farms, which they don't tell us about. Mm -hmm. Where they sit, what they would call unruly bucks, you know, um, which were maybe leaders, black men that came over. They saw that they had a big following. They knew that it would be an issue when they got them to whoever was going to buy them. So they sent them to breaking farms. And what they did was tie this male down, this strong male that people followed. They tied him down in front of the group and they they made the group watch a man rape him. Mm -hmm. And so these were called breaking farms. And that was called buck breaking. But in history, they don't tell us about this in these books. They don't tell us how they used to take our babies and use it to uh, use our babies to um to be bait to catch alligators. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. For gator meat and things like that. That's not put in those books. We are yeah, look, if you're gonna give it to us, give it to us. And and not only that, they don't and I always tell people I don't buy the fact that we just laid down and, and, and took whippings. They don't tell you about the gullah wars and all that other kind of stuff. Oh but, no, you know, they don't tell you about that. You know they what I mean? They don't tell you about them fighting back and, and, and things. But uh they I don't. wanna I wanna I wanna shout out to Rick Nasheed. I wanna shout out also Dan Calloway as well. Who does a great job in terms of uh, giving facts about slavery uh, being told in reverse? And again, Dr. Claude Anderson. So if you get a chance, look up the information. They have a wealth of knowledge, and I think it would not only help us as adults, but it also help our children as well. Exactly. Oh, yeah. They I'm don't tell you how they used to eat, eat us. I went to a slave uh, presentation. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to, trying to see. I pull it up. I hear you, Queen. Yeah, you know. When I went to one in Georgia that they turned to a bed and breakfast. But I ain't sleeping there. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Where, I wouldn't sleep there either. But they have like these uh, where you can dine. You, you don't have to stay there. You get to dine and things of that nature. But I mean, just to look at the place. 
brings me to a certain point. And there are places in South Carolina that, you know, we get mm-hmm. off to, we, you know, go just, you know, when you're from the country, you're not scared yeah. of the woods. You know, you can go off and be like, oh, we about to go up here. You're not scared of the woods. It's not like, you know, you're afraid you're going to go to certain places. Now, we would do that. We would end up going certain places, somebody a drive. We all up in the station wagon. We packed up in there. And it was places that were definite plantations. Mm-hmm. Definite mm-hmm. plantations. And, um, you know, we would go. And as a, as a youngster, you don't know exactly what you're feeling. You know, you're a teenager, you're doing, you know, you're out, y'all hanging, y'all doing, y'all, and it's a difference being a teenager in the sticks. I'm a, you know, I have to put it out there because I know from being raised in Baltimore, but being bred, you might as well say, in South Carolina, there's a difference coming up, you know, when you come up in the sticks. Now you you know you have a different freedom to to roam when you're going outside coming up, but you had to watch other things that you didn't have to watch in the city. In the city, you have to watch the things that you didn't have to watch mm-hmm. down in the sticks. So I say that to say, you know, we've all had we all have different types of things that we had to watch out for, to be afraid of, to be, you know, to warn our children about no matter where you're from. But the wide range is this. The wide range is this. It's happening in Mississippi. It happened here in Baltimore. It, it, it happened in Tennessee. The wide range is this. There's a destruction set forth for us and I feel like it's ramping up now I do I think it's going to get worse and worse before it even tries to get better this police reform is not going to make a difference it's going to get to the point where it's complete lawlessness they playing games with that up there though oh yeah oh yeah it's um it's really bad it's really bad. Like I, I worry. I feel like I'm gonna have a panic attack sometimes when my sons leave to go to work. Mm. I do, I do, and and I do, and and I try not to. Sometimes I just try to hold it in, but other times it comes out. Like, do you have your umbrella? Do you have a scarf? Do you have? And this, my son is almost thirty. He's like, what the? Mm. And I cannot explain what's in my heart. And I, I the only way I can tell them is you know my when you leave it's like my heart is on the outside of my body you know it's it's my heart is leaving my mm. vicinity that's the only way I can explain it that's a, that's a and I just really believe we have to do something because there's no way that these cops you know what I mean can keep doing this they can't they can't it's no way I mean, they're not officers, they're overseers. And you're not going to tell me they didn't jump to make an example of those black officers. Not that they shouldn't have been made an example of, because when you say you're blue, that's who you are. You said you're blue, so you left your black behind. Okay? So you left your black over on the other side of the line. So you're blue. But don't think that those of us who are relative to you being, you know, we're the same race, don't feel and don't see the way that things are being done to you the way it wasn't done to these other officers. Don't think we're overlooking that. But what we see the most is what you did to your brother. Y'all outnumbered this white guy, this white cop. But it seems like to me, Y'all did what he wanted you to do. Regardless of how personal it was, y'all all all did what y'all thought was going to make you be the pearliest house nigga. Hmm. That's how I feel. I feel Hmm. like they showed out for him. Yeah, it was something personal, but I feel like they showed out for him. And now they're seeing y'all showed out for him 
but he ain't gonna show out for y'all. No, he gonna get suspended and he gonna have his job. He gonna mm-hmm. have his pension. He gonna have he a check. Okay, he, okay. Say he, he say he didn't do anything. But as far as Say I've got plenty of people that have seen that video and, and you know, they rewind it and fast forward, rewind it and fast forward, slowed it up, stopped it. He was spraying. Yeah, he was taking, he had a taser. When he yeah, was winding you're that spraying back, him strong. and you're tasing him. Like, mm-hmm. for what? It, I mean, when, when, with all of this being done, when was he being arrested? That what I was like it to took to. all of y'all to do that yeah. to him to to get this man and arrest him. Still no handcuffs. The you beat him in the submission. Mm-hmm. You had to call an ambulance. What else had to happen to him? Like, and then you still wanted to put him under arrest. After you did this to this man, you still put him under arrest. Right. And then, and, and if it is anything going on, if it does have to do with a female, you know what I mean? She's going to be so terrified to say anything. Because, I mean, look at this. She's in, you know, she's, she's, she's there in the city dealing with cops. She is going to be terrified to come out and do anything. Or say anything. Like you remember the, the, the lady, the white cop that walked into that man's house talking about she thought he was in her house. And she shot yeah. and killed that man and he was sitting at his own table. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Look, they had them braiding her hair up. Walking up in the courtroom, braiding this lady's hair, doing all types of stuff. She had privileges on top of privileges. And she got a smack on the wrist and the guy that came forward and put out there and told what he knew to get her and the reason why she was actually convicted come to find out later on this boy has been shot and killed somewhere outside and they ain't never found the person who did it Mm. now you tell me that wasn't those cops Mm. you tell me that wasn't them that man ain't have a record. He was a father of a young child that was like two years old. And after he did, after he testified, that man was found dead. Wow. And they try to make it like it was in a drug area. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah. We scared to stick up for each other because yeah. of look what happens. Mm-hmm. Real but quick, when it's them. It's, 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 you know, they don't see what they do. Yeah. Well, we're going we're gonna to have a conversation, or we're going to keep that conversation going. Because as we see right here, ooh, real quick, Nick Nick just came to the line and then. What's up, Nick Nick? Welcome, Queen. Hey, Black. How hey, you Nick. doing? How's everybody? How are you doing? Good. How are you, beloved? I'm good. I'm good. Um, I just wanted to, um, I guess piggyback on the um, the discussion uh, about that the, the white cop that was involved. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he could, yeah. say, he could say that um, he didn't do anything or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the problem. You, you didn't do anything. Um, oh, yeah. The same with Fact. the ambulance drivers. You know, the ambulance drivers didn't participate, but they didn't do anything. Mm, so brilliant. they were fired, you know. Um, and as far as the discipline that white cop got, um, which is basically a slap on the wrist, you know, uh, versus the black cop, you know, that just goes to show that you may be in blue uniform, but at the end of the day, you guys are still black, mm-hmm. and um, that's why you get punished the way you're being punished. I mean, it's it's clear as day, you know. Because gotta all of them should be fired, even the white cop. But I agree. That just lets you know where they stand in this. You know, had them been five white cops, they would all be just suspended with pay or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, that's duty. Yeah, but yeah, you know, the the black cops they got the black punishment. Um, quick, real quick, real quick. 
And so, you know, he, you know, you can say he didn't do anything. That's fine, but you, you were supposed to. You were supposed to stop that 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 uh, police brutality. You were supposed to stop yes, that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, he didn't. You know, so yeah, he's just as guilty. Yeah, when I listen to it, Nick, um, I hear Tyree trying to de-escalate it the whole time. He, the he entire to time. It. This brother was trying to de-escalate the whole. I'm mad. I like. I mean, and then you got like all seven people giving this guy a command. Man, what the hell? Lay down. Get right. up, give me your arm. And man, they gave what they said. They gave him like seventy-one commands. He yep. has seventy-one commands, like in under five minutes. They said. And he was trying to follow command. Like what the hell? Get down. Pull your arm. Pull up. Lay down. Yes. Like, bro, I, and bro. you're going through that kind of chaos. Then I would run. I would run because now this is beyond, you know, um, the way it is way beyond the way it's supposed to go. And mm-hmm. then they didn't even have a reason to stop him in the first place. They have a reason to stop the man. And so, you know, even if it's personal or whatever, you know, it just it, it wasn't right. It wasn't right at all. And I just I hate that. I, I hate that happened. I really yeah, do. he shouldn't even been able to run away. I mean, I I was like, man, this is damn ridiculous. I was just confused. Like, I mean, like these big ass dudes can pull them over, and they just roughing them. And at first, I'm looking yes. like, what the hell? How? I'm trying to figure out how in the hell did this dude get? I mean, because Mr. Still trying to register that this some personal stuff. And by the time they got to him the second mm-hmm. time, you know, my slow mind at that's when I was like, hold up, so <laughs> like, right here, like, huh? I mean, I'm like, like these big ass dudes, like, and that was just confusing. Is hell that to guy me, was man. literally running for his life. Literally yeah. for his life. He wasn't running because he had warrants. He wasn't running because, you know, he was caught in the act of, you know, some unlawful act. No, he was running for his life because the guys man. were beating on him for no reason. Mm. And then they're law enforcement. So we know how that goes. Mm. They weren't even supposed to be making traffic stops. That's not what their job entails. Right. Oh, really? They're a task force. No, they're a task force. And not speak out of turn because I really, you know, I used to get popped in my <laughs> mouth for that. Speaking out of turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look this up. I'm going to tell you exactly what they were supposed to be doing. Because they were not supposed to be stopping traffic. Oh, that's not what their that's not what their job entails. That task force is not. They don't make a task force to stop traffic. Oh, that's true. not what they were not doing. They were not doing their job. Especially oh. if they ain't seen you make no sale or anything like that. You know, like we seen. Right. Them, you know what I'm saying? And they said they tried it. They told the police stop pulling people over for damn traffic. What is it? Say? They say for like tail lights <laughs> and the stuff. They had told all police leave people alone with even little tail lights and shit around here. That's broken. Mm-hmm. So, damn, that's a good point y'all just made. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Some heads need to roll. Some heads need to roll. But heads besides black heads. Yeah, All they, are right. I mean, right. They, 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 you know, I, I look at it like they go to prison, it's on, you know. It, it, it's, they better, that right there is crazy, man. I wouldn't even, bro. I mean, if I'm in a pen, don't even look at me with that, bro. Then you're a cop. You're like, damn. Okay. And then just don't, don't think. The brothers in there don't won't have a conversation with them on it. Like, like what made you feel that? It's real. It's real in there, you know, and they know it. And then from my understanding, what they say, one of these guys was a correctional officer too. She they they know that in there. I pray to God. Yeah. They know it. I pray they to say God. He was in there um doing stuff when he was a um when he was a um correctional officer, then he was um doing that to prisoners, handcuffing and restraining them and beating on them. In 13 minutes, appreciate that, true. Yeah, man. You know, okay. Well, I pray, you know, hey man, Cabo Six get they ass whipped for the year out in Mexico. It is what it is. And please don't let it sound harsh after we seen what happened to Reek and Quilla and stuff, man. No, I mm. I hope it sound harsh because what I saw was harsh. What they did was harsh. That stuff be harsh. And I thank God we have you know these platforms where we can come. And some people say, Don't put it now. I want to put it out there and so they can see the disgust of uh, the community and the people, man, because this stuff here don't make no damn sense. Now we are our own reporters. Yep, we come on here, hit live, and we want it to be heard. 
You know, God, this shit don't even if it's our own, we're gonna take their balls. All right, so if you're white, black, yeah. whatever you do it, as you see, we gonna we're gonna get your balls. Yeah. You know, come on and join the lion then I ever, you know, and it, it's sad, but you know, this right here, yes, we gotta spank them. We gotta verbally spank them. Yeah, they have to be. You know? Because you got parents like me out here, you know what I mean? And I, I love my children all. But I always worry about if somebody does something to one of them that's going to make me be taken away from the other one. Because I don't mm -hmm. have a filter when it comes to them. Like I try, I normally can be a diplomat. I normally can get to the bottom of things with my words. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I normally can research things and come to a conclusion to where as though I can start a resolution. But when mm -hmm. it comes down to my children... Oh, everything be damned. So it be a job trying to hold that. It's in. like I'm awake, but I black <laughs> out. You know. I feel you. And mm -hmm. I, I don't. I never want to get be put in a position where I'm taken away from my other children because somebody mm -hmm. takes one of them away from me. Because I never know how I'm going to react. You know what I mean? I feel like, like. You know, there have been times when things have happened and I have reacted like a pure nigga. You know, and I, I got to say it for what it is, like a pure D nigga when it come down to mine. Uh -huh. You know, and I let it be known. They wasn't know I'm going to hide about it. No, I'm going to come to your mama house. I'm going to tell you what I got to tell you. I'm going to come to your grandmama her. house and I'm going to tell her, hand me her. him. I done been Ooh. to grandparents' houses and told him, give him to me. Grandmas, what you gonna do with them? What you should have done with them? You That's know, cool. and I feel like I never want to be put in that position to be taken away from my other children because I never know how I'm gonna react. Because when you do something to them, I just I click off. You know, I click off, and by the time I'm back to my senses of what it is I've done or should be doing, it's already too late. And so I really pray every day. I pray for my children and I also pray for my other children that they never have to lose me based on of, of something somebody has done to one of them. Or they never have to lose each other based off of something somebody has done to one of them and they react. You know, that's my main worry. Like I don't have I don't have the restraint when you do something to them. I don't have it. I know it may sound harsh, you know what I mean, but I mm -hmm. don't. I literally do not have it. It's Thanks, like Karen. I just want to, yeah. you know, I just want to go to breaking things apart. Yeah. I don't have it in me to be diplomatic after you've done something to my baby. Mm -hmm. I don't give a damn if she's fifty and I'm a hundred. You've done something to mine. Mind that don't come out there and cause problems. Mind that ain't beat on your daughter. Mind that ain't beat on your door. Mind that ain't stole your car. Minds that ain't selling no drugs. But for some kind of way, you done got this child caught up into something that they weren't even raised to be into. And then you supposed to let the law deal with it. when We already know that the law does not deal accordingly to somebody with somebody that has done something to a young black man or a young right. black female. You feel like you have no other choice but to stand on your own. Right. And I have always been a single parent and I've always been whereas though if you do something to them, I'm gonna die for them. Okay, well sister, we, we feel your passion and our sister on the lion then say, uh, just speaking, think positive, your children belong to God, use your faith in God, he will sign you to them. And uh hey, lion, I feel you. And I love to hear our mama bears, I call y'all y'all beautiful bears out here with that that type of love right there. And that's straight old school. That's straight old school love right there. You know what I'm saying? You can see some new school, you see some old school, old school. Mm -hmm. Everything is originated from the old school, uh, uh, ancient and all of that. Old school is the best. And, you know, sometimes, like our brothers say, old school is that truth. Truth will make some damn people run. 
You know, yeah. true truth would make people run, like the brother Miguel said uh, not long ago. So, you know, that's all it is. And so you, you good. You can relax with it. We got you. And I mean, I, well, I feel that I, it's I, just I, like they expect you to discipline. And, and stop them from doing things to people. And you're supposed to go out your way. You're supposed to whoop them and do stuff to keep them from doing things. But then when somebody do something to them, you're supposed to fall back? No. That ain't how it go. Yeah. And they need to understand that. The cops need to understand it. The judges need to understand it. These same people that will make sure that their kids are prosecuted, for some of the things that they do causing harms, causing death of people's children, like mm -hmm. that Murdoch family down there in South Carolina. Mm -mm. You know, they they, they get away with things. Yeah, the Murdochs, they get away with things based on who they are and mm -hmm. what they are. You know, they ain't punished for certain stuff and it just makes mm -hmm. you feel hopeless and then you get to the point where why even try? I'm just going to do what I do. Did you see God step in at over there though? Step ooh, in. Ooh. Listen. Hey, when yeah, won't say, he do it? Won't he won't do he it? Do it. How Murdoch I'm said telling you. Things. He said <laughs> with Rachel Ray sitting there looking at him. Uh-huh. So, ooh, I was like, ooh, uh -huh. that. And, yeah. Uh, they been and, and, and here's the thing, they've been playing, they've been playing like a documentary, like the R. Kelly, too. I was looking. I looked up yeah. I stayed up a little late. I said, Damn, let me look at this from the gate a little bit, boy. The Murdoch. Because they were old slave owners and things. You know what I mean? That Murdoch family are old mm -hmm. slave owners. They, you know what I mean? They they're they're big time wow. slave owners down there in South Carolina. They were all lawyers. Um, I think they had four generations of um It was a lot of a of uh what is it? Uh 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 shit. There's four generations of attorneys that were at the top of the of the, uh, the top of the state level, mm -hmm. like all of them. And you don't just get that, you know what I mean? You you don't yeah. just get things like that by doing right. You know they done a lot of wrong. You know mm -hmm. they were slave owners. You know they done a lot of wrong. They built well, everything on a black person's back. You know what? Let me. Add, you know what? South of the border. How many people went to South of the border down there? South it's Carolina. Right it's like a little, yeah, in South Carolina, a little Mexican thing you ride through, like on the Myrtle Beach. It's called South. Yeah, Florida. yeah. Oh, I yeah, think yeah, it's yeah. where you get the biscuit town. Yeah, well, you know the owners and stuff. I know uh, my peoples. They tricked them because they didn't know how to read, and I think they took the land for like a dollar or something like that. Ooh. And it's a story behind that. And uh, I don't know if they, and and if I'm not mistaken, I know our peoples, Nick. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know if it was thinking why it was her people, but she know the story with that right there. That land was uh, owned by black uh, uh, black people, and uh, uh -huh. they went to them and got it for like a dollar, and somehow tricked the lady up. You know, it, it, it's sad. It's a sad. It's a sad story, and uh, sad but I, familiar. It, it, it's it's crazy, you know. So like going there, you know, people wouldn't think of that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this out for the border, the big. Mexican hat Pablo or whatever, and yeah. it, it's crazy. And uh, but I'm gonna tell you a thing that's that's good to have too. Uh, what is it? The Green Book or the Blue Book? Where like oh, African. Oh yeah, where you don't go to the sundown town. Yeah, or either, and and it show us that route that they used to take and the different hotels. Yeah. In Mark, man, I think if people uh, that book, I think that would be good to take on like little trips. I'm planning to get that book and I'm planning to ride that route, y'all. Okay. You know, and to see where the brothers and sisters, you know, where they show some of the houses and hotels are tore down, you know, where only they had can stay and stuff like that. But yeah, it's interesting. And I had I can't find a video where I went to the uh, slave uh, plantation down in uh, in Raleigh, North Carolina. A lot of people didn't know it was there. I Googled it. Damn, I forgot the name. Um, damn. It. But yeah, me and some of the family went and uh, it was amazing and it was interesting, you know, hearing about the tobacco um just it, yeah it, we it, need to get together and do things like that I'm instead of all of this stuff we do and you know i'm not saying there's nothing wrong with traveling and seeing the world but i think that we need to get together and do things like that you know view things like that experience it together 
and and we might, you know, it might surprise us. We it might mm-hmm. bring about feelings that we don't want to actually experience, but it also might bring about, you know, togetherness. You know, it's mm-hmm. things like that that we have to do. Sponsor some trips or something, but it, it, yeah. it was really interesting. I mean, I'm looking at a quarter, a hit, a quarter's where a hundred of them had to stay in, and I'm looking like, really? You know, I'm standing right. there. Right. You know, we standing in it. I got the video on my Canon camera and um, all types of stuff. The guy educated us on like in every city, how they put factories on the, uh, like the east side of the town with Martin Luther King's. And man, it, it was amazing yeah. still to this day, like, you know, how all cities are designed, you know, because the projects we uh-huh. come the Caucasian people. When we come into the projects, Brooklyn and New York and all that, you know, my mom yeah. used to say that, you know, Black people didn't stay in, you know, in the project. I'm like, huh? She's no. like, used to be grass used to be pretty and all of this. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, and they got to teaching us the history of down here in North Carolina in our city. And I was like, damn, you know? Yeah. Like, you know, as you get older. So, uh, but yeah, I think, it, you know, we don't have that, you know? And, it, you know, damn. I mean, my thing is, I wish it was somebody that can set up stuff like that, you know? Where they hoping it fades away, Black. They hoping from. that people like us hurry up, get old, and die, and then then they will have the mm-hmm. minds of those that are coming up. Mm-hmm. They feel like they know. already have a clinch on them because of the music, like you said. Mm-hmm. The music is definitely a downfall, and they know it because mm-hmm. they know that as Black people, music. we have a direct connection to rhythm and the sun. Mm-hmm. You understand? It's not like um, it's in our DNA. It's Preach. something that not just that, you know, oh, but bad people dancing. It's, it's something, it's in our DNA. Our rhythm DNA. and the sun. We are connected to mm-hmm. rhythm and the sun. So the sun. they put it mm-hmm. in our music. They put it in our music because that is a way to, to get in. That's a way in. Once it's in the music and they infiltrate it through the music, then even though we don't deal with it and we don't do it, it's in the room being played. Even if we don't hear it and it's inside of their earphones, it comes out in their attitude, which is then going to cause a problem when I get home from work because you've been listening to this negativity. So you get home from work. (laughs) You know, when I get home, you got an attitude because you've been listening to this negativity. When I get home from work, you haven't done what you're supposed to do because the TV show shows you that you don't have to do this. Oh, you don't have to do that. Oh, if I pop you, that's child abuse. Mm. Oh, if I yank you up, then I'm going to jail. I'm going to be pulled up. No, 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 no. That's another intimidation tactic. If we don't discipline them, they will. And that's what they want. They want to put them on probation and things like that to keep them to keep them strapped to trouble. Oh yeah. Yeah. They want to do these things. You know, to keep them where as though they're under their thumb instead mm-hmm. of ours. Well, I started reading to my granddaughter. I got her first book. I started reading and reading and reading. I'm telling you, I, and he had a, a little, uh, little African-American doll. I'm not trying to turn this to the race. I'm keeping the truth. It's the real. And I got the reading and reading. W.W. Look at this. W. Wow. And she gave me attention for maybe like three seconds. I'll be honest with you. She gave me three seconds. That was good enough. And I know we're going to make it. But uh, you're right, though. And the thing is, man, and I tell people all the time, we have to uh, talk to our kids. Before we say anything else or whatever, we have to try our best and talk to them. And then we got to understand what they're up against also, you know, which what we're trying to do, which yeah. is like if it's when we give them that cell phone, we have to make sure they be responsible with the cell phone. But, you know, uh-huh. they leave outside. And, and then, you know, society has so much different stuff for them than us. You know what, y'all? A lot of us could have been damn rich from dancing back in the day, how we used to do it in front yeah. of the house, uh, singing and all. We singing. Would have been, y'all, would have, a lot of us would have been damn with what they got now. Man, we a lot of us would have been famous Oprah's out here, man, with yeah. YouTube. And, and we, cause we used to, we did the telephone. Shoot, we get out the phone. Mom, can I use the phone? You hang up, you hang up. Man, we was nice. 
that little bit right, right there broke down right. a thousand people to a house party, to a coliseum, to the, mm -hmm. the, the, the school gymnasium. Man, if we yeah. had that, y'all. Back then, the rec centers, right. all our talent shows, everybody, somebody, yeah. this, this yeah, family was new addition, this family yeah. was boys to men, you we had the young singer, Tina Turner, everything. Me and we you did more danced. things. Me and you would have danced. And I would have told Miguel, let's make a dance step like we new addition. <laughs> yeah. Dance, and damn it, I would have told right. him, look, bro, we finna make a new addition. And we old school. And it would have had the cameras, man. Come on, bro. bro. Then with right See, now, they don't want insane. our children yeah. to experience generational wealth Ooh. because they don't want us to have a certain amount of freedom. They want us to have, yes. they want us to get some money in order to see what it's like to be able to make certain choices, but they want us to stop at a certain point so that we don't mm. actually have financial freedom. If we have financial freedom, a lot of this stuff is not going to happen. We're not going to be mm. listening to certain types of music because then we're going to have our own companies. You know, we're going to produce our own music. You know, we're going to do what we have to do for our, audi our, our artists because we once were them. Mm. We're not a Jewish man taking their money. We're not an Italian man taking you know taking their innocence you know we're not all these different entities they make it to where as though we can't do for each other because it causes us to have freedom mm. I'm they gonna tell you some set us free i'm gonna tell you some real stuff that was told to me by israelite and uh, because I was almost militarized, I was almost down with the NFAC, bro. Hey, we was ready to take the streets, our vests, and all of this. And the brother was like, yo, man, I'm a, I'm a, it's a system out here, you know. And he showed me how to, to how to not, I mean, not to physically fight, fight it, but he was, bro, it's about uh, getting what they get. It was like, don't go out there with that. They'll neutralize you. And what you got to do is, man, he was like, first, make be, become a made man. You know, because I had you tired of working and all of this. And dude opened me up about maybe three, maybe I'm gonna say five years ago, maybe six, right before the pandemic. And that's when I took the lead. And, uh, you know, I tell some people, I say, okay, to get out of that, sacrifice. I, and it, oh man, like if you get some tax money, I told them to sacrifice. I did. Right. And what I did, I found different things like online where you can sign up, like YouTube. Uh, T-shirt companies, all types of stuff where I got out there and grind and start watching the damn wheels turn because I was ready to damn march, go yell with a bullhorn at one point. And uh, yeah. out the streets, boy, we was ready to be militarized. But one thing we was going to do here, man, we was going to get our firearms on Second Amendment and go into the community and have a presence, not to damn attack no one, but a presence right. around young boys that were shooting them with these gangs and stuff. We was just finna to make a statement saying that, hey, man, we got elders up in here in these projects. I know we have 14th Street and Martin Luther King. We had to say no damn deal as the old school brothers, man. You know, everybody in uh, like black and hell yeah, we're going to have our firearms. And yes, we will get with the mayor or whatever and tell them we're policing, policing our own shit. You know what I'm saying? So you're mm -hmm. going to get all of this, we was gonna show up, man. And we, we, my thing was, we giving our life for our city. My dad was exactly. Vietnam and fought like hell. Came back, you know what I'm saying? Damn, they lost his mind for fighting for this. So on that end, right. me, like, cool. Will I give it up for my city, my daughter, and them? Yes. So that's what we was doing, putting a plan together. You know, none felons, and we brought out felons. You know what I'm saying? Where you yeah. know they can have a voice also because they had mm -hmm. something to tell you know hell yeah we was putting it together you know right before the uh pandemic and you know we was ready to take back our neighborhoods not forcefully but we wanted to make a statement we wanted to show them if you says firearm right that means we have a damn what's that second amendment first amendment first and yeah. second don't go get a firearm and hide it and get caught by the police it's a trap and then they say you got a gun charge when you right. have a gun natural fucking right when you born birth from your mom and him so we was gonna go out here and teach them stop buying firearms and hiding it here's your right we can show them on a piece of paper because you're doing it wrong now bro do you have a felon why are you out here well you don't well listen here's how you do it 
Because mm-hmm. we want to teach them on that right there. Like, bro, y'all out here with firearms out here. And then on top of that, you have a right. Okay, the police going to take that. They going to put that where well, you got a damn uh, a gun charge. I mean, I got a gun charge. You ain't even have to get it because you had a right. But you went out there not doing it right. And you're careless and probably reckless, not knocking them. But that's what right. we was to come through, man, and, 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 and line it up, you know, and not uh, harm no one. You know what I'm right. saying? Everybody was going every, training every Saturday to show where we don't point our weapons and stay in good form with the uh, lo- local law, but we don't need them. And that was my thing at one point. And so I had to demilitarize, put up, right. you know, and then I show people my firearm on here. You know what I'm saying? Because I can. I'm like First Amendment and like Second right. Amendment speaking on it and also give you a tutorial. A lot of people know you can do it. Oh, shit. He bring that out. There. Yes, I have. They don't right. know their rights. That's mm-hmm. what I was doing right before the pandemic, where we was trying to educate. It was too much damn shooting out here in my damn city. And us old school brothers got tired of it when they went up in my daughter's school. And mm-hmm. as a gay man, man, these guys 14 years old. No, we was going out there to say, hey, no more, bro. No damn deal. Right. The police right. were not scared because we felt if the preachers and if everybody ain't walking through these damn communities, don't go up here and say this is for the community down there. We're saying that. No, get your ass in there and go pray. Go to this corner and pray. We need a community church. If they mess with y'all, us old school brothers going to come out there. And I'm telling us, we're going to wear their ass out if they mess with Ramadans and everybody. Else. Go down in there and pray. Get that Bible out and put the Lord, Yahweh, Yoshua in these communities. That was what I was telling to the pastors. Come with us. We don't want to walk ahead with it. But guess what? We're going to lay the groundwork where y'all can. If we go down here and teach them about these firearms, we need y'all to come behind us and bring God or something in there. That's right. That, you know, so it would be... I think some people see that, and I tell people when I first come out here, I'm like a militia man, I'm a preacher, you hear all these different factions, but, you know, hey, let me be peaceful with it, you know, and I am a guy, I have to watch because I'm ready to take action, and I have to move back, though, but that's why I stood with the brothers and sisters when it came to this gun stuff, no, I'm ready to face it, like, look, man, y'all need to chill out with that, you know, yes, it was going to see our presence. we was going to rent our black damn sprinters, and yes, and we was going to put our damn uh, logo on the side peacefully and pull up, ride right. through it. Damn, go your man and yes, look, y'all need to knock it the fuck off, man. All this killing and sh- knock it off, knock it off, man. You know y'all got people that love y'all, but you know don't tell. But when is our punishments gonna fit the crime when it comes down to things that happen with us? You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. when is the punishments gonna fit the crime, Black? Like right. here recently, I just heard about a little girl. And I can't even get up the city that it was in. And I will put it mm-hmm. up here as I look at it. But um, it really bothered me because a little middle school girl, well, I guess they were in high school. And I guess their high school started probably with the age or whatever and went on up. But this little black girl um, was on a cheer squad. And w- they were all in the auditorium. She's mm-hmm. taking their other little girls took pictures of her standing up. Didn't even know she was being pictures being taken of this little black girl. Straight mm-hmm. A student, never in any trouble, nothing. I mean, you know, st- uh, student council, everything. Good little girl. Mm-hmm. She was taken. Uh, one of the the little girls that took pictures of her was five of them. Um, they sent the picture off to a person that was a stranger. She did not know. And after they took her picture, the picture, the caption under the picture to the person said, come get some of this black girl pussy. Is what it said. Whoa, okay? whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. What did I just walk into? Hold up. This oh, is what happened. Up. Hey, Miss T.S., I was wondering where you What's were and on? I wanted to make Look. sure you knew about this. Oh, These little girls yeah. with a Chinese little girl, a oh, white girl. Little, a couple of little white girls, I'm, and a I'm Spanish girl, girl with I'm five of them. And she took, they took the picture of this little black girl, and they sent it out to a boy, which they claim he was in the eighth grade. These parents have got nothing done, okay? These girls are not punished. Oh Come to find out, they sent out a picture of this little girl, little oh black girl, God. while they were all oh on the God. cheer squad. Oh they sent it to this oh person, and under her picture, it says... Um, well, they were sending pictures to the little boy, and they said, and they took the picture of the little black girl, and they say to the little boy, "This is me." 
And the little boy says, oh, no. You sure that's you? And they say, why? And he said, because I can only date in my race. Okay? They don't know if this is a child or not. This is just a text that's coming back between this boy and this girl. So then she sends the picture of the black girl to him and say, well, just come and get some of this black girl pussy then. Oh. Now, this, they have made it to where though they are not disciplining these girls. They're still on the cheer team. Even the superintendent is making it seem like, oh, it was just something silly that they were. That's not silly. Oh. That's not oh. silly. Oh. Okay. They have not punished these what, little what? girls. You know, if they had not been those little white girls, I feel like they have, would have been punished. They asked her father well, what is it that y'all want us to do? And he said, I want them to be punished like my daughter would be punished. Mm. I want them off the cheer team. I want them not going to the dance that's coming up. I want them suspended. These little girls are still putting up TikToks and things of that nature like, mm, all I got was this that happened to me. So I'm just saying, when are we going to get the same, same punishment Wow. And you know what? Everybody you know what? Else you know what I would do? You want me? You want me to tell you what I would do if I? Yes, ma'am. Oh, out. Hold on. She hit the button. Oh, let me drop the link. We're gonna roll at ten o'clock tonight, y'all. Too. Then that's when I probably hit Waffle House. I, I'm a cheat tonight. <laughs> I'm a cheat tonight. I'm a cheat. What you got a? a, a... <laughs> What you like on some type of strict diet? Changed, yeah, I changed my diet. <laughs> I'm, changed I'm it fake. up from what? Uh, just junk, poison food, just bad, purified food. I don't get too damn old out here in America. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, so I'm eating a little bit more healthy though. I ain't gonna do nothing. Go get me some. Oh, Let me say this before I st before I uh. Real quick, I'm going to step off. I just want to say thank you again, Brother uh, Black CEO, for having me on. Thank you, ladies, for your presence. Thank you for your commentary. You well. Thank you for the truth. Thank you, King. And may God rich is best to be upon you. And to, to those of you in the chat, always remember, each and every day God wake you up, you have a chance to make a difference, not only for yourself, but for someone else. So do all that you can and never let someone dim your light. Turn your own light on and let no one turn your light off. May God riches best be upon you. All right. Yeah. Good yeah. Well, well, brother. Brother. Absolutely. I mean, what do you think, Miss T.S.? Like, I mean, I don't know if you've oh, heard. I'm going to pull up some more stuff. What I do. You. But what is going uh -uh, on? Like, why? Uh-uh. I handle that. Uh-uh. See, we need to start setting precedent. We need to quit waiting on them to do it for us. And we need to start setting a precedent. What I would do is I filed a defamation lawsuit with them girls' name on it toward my door. And there is no way on heaven or earth that she couldn't win. They defamed his daughter. They defamed her character already as a child. And somebody would have to answer to that in court. Because I'd make this stick to that name the hell with what they do in their school because they're going to always come in. I take that right. and put, it, put some ink on some paper to make it happen, Cap. Mm. That's exactly what I said. Yeah. That's oh, exactly yeah. what I, I said. I precedent. It'll be something new going on. They'd be so afraid of tampering with our children. Until and because every time they turn around, be another lawsuit, defamation of character, uh, and insult, the injury, uh, whatever, whatever I can stack the deck with, I stack it on there. Right, right. I mean, I couldn't I believe that. that. This just came across to me last night. Um, I found that out last night, and it just really—I couldn't even sleep after that. The mom, <laughs> the mom said the little girl. <laughs> the mama said the little girl was so scared to go to the mall. She was scared to be in the store with her mother because they had sent this um, stuff out to this stranger. And she thought, you know, it may be a man or whatever. And I'm feeling like, you know, yeah. that could cause that little girl PTSD. She's afraid now. 
All she right. want to know what she did. And that's the reason why I sued her ass to deserve court. it. That's the reason. Because all she needed is some kind of therapist to document a statement yeah. to that. They took her and to which therapy. Which is true. And I would take her and take their ass to court. I wouldn't even give a damn about the educational system uh, taking care of it. I take care of it myself. You're not going to do my child and think you're going to walk away and do somebody else's child over and over and over and repeat this pattern. He grew up yes. and then they end up being a sociopath or a psychopath and killing yes. somebody else's son or daughter and let this shit go on and on. No, I take care of you right here where we at. Give me yeah. a juvenile. Turn it into a, a it new is. Cabo Six. And whatever they want to call it, but it is show. It, yeah, it should have had his name on something. I bet you that you going to put my baby name on negative. Yours going to be on negative. Listen, yeah. I'm on the phone. Do you mind? Y'all and all the little girls say that. <laughs> you know, they went on TikTok. They put out um, uh-huh. videos. Like, um, you know, they went on, the, on to TikTok, put out videos saying what they wow. didn't get to happen to them. And, oh, um, you what? know, that, uh, yeah, they put on there, they say, um, yeah, I did That's such so and stuff. And then on the uh, on the TikTok is saying, and That's I still it. don't, and I still don't feel bad. You know, yeah. like, That's what in the world? Up. These little girls are being made to um, apologize. They haven't had to write letters. Or anything, you know what I mean? And it's gone all the way up to the superintendent. And they are trying to sweep it under the rug. What these two yeah, black yeah, parents are father. I my daughter out that damn school and I sue the parents. I sue the parents. Yeah, 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 exactly what I That's do. That's what I do. I get an attorney and sue the parents mm-hmm. with a child name on it. That way it can't just go to the juvie court. It goes yep. to both courts because it got both their names on it. And they'll mm-hmm. learn this ain't the one you want to play with. This one right you here. No, ma'am, mm-hmm. no, sir. Mm-mm, mm-mm, right. Mm-mm. We're not They're trying to tell the lady. That. No, no. She should feel she should that should ease her fears because they know that it's not an adult that they said that this is they did their research and it's the a, devil another is eighth grade boy. That's not true. Cause it's a lot of people that pretend to be kids on the on the thing, and even if he is a kid, it still doesn't make a difference. You don't put my daughter's face out there under that type of stigma. You don't do that to her, especially not since she's in school doing what she's supposed to do, being a good girl, trying to be a productive part of society, and you make her feel like when she's going to do that, that she's not going to do anything but have heartache and have troubles trying to do so. Which makes her then shut down. I'm over it. Like that right there really shocked me last night. And I really wanted to bring that up. I'm so glad. One nothing but God to bring Black on here today. Because I said, I have got to put this out here. The way that they are doing these kids. Wow. You know, they're killing our boys. And they're destroying what, our what girls. What city is this in? What city hey, is this in? Let me pull it up. Hey, country thick. You say the empathy is your first cousin? Would you like to come on and speak about what they uh, do from your first cousin, cousin? You ain't got to turn your face if that's really you. Because we think it is a shame what they did to your cousin. So if it's really you, feel free. I'll drop the link. That way Absolutely. The Please come up. Yeah, that way we can get the word out. Please and, uh, come up. Because I don't think, I mean, Let me that, pull up this information. It, it's, it's like they shot, they got like nine times in the back. Yeah, that Jesus was like, Christ. Yeah, they start thinking I'm like that brother, like if not more, shoot. Yeah, I can drop the I drop the link just. That's in your name. That's in your name. See, and that's, that's what. Right and you click on that one says Black Studio Media, and it'll bring you backstage. And uh, I see you, and I click you in, but you have to click on it, and you'll see like backstage. Country thick. Yeah. Say it was nine shots. Yeah, I, I thought I counted nine shots, and they shot that guy in his back. I mean, okay, oh my god! Has something wrong? But you don't do that, you know. So that was bad. But yeah, it's a link. You just click on it, and then it bring you backstage back here. And we it's in Arkansas, Miss TS. This happened in Arkansas. What part of Arkansas? What part of Arkansas? What you talking about? Where the brother was the empathy? Is there any way you? Yeah, uh, this what she's talking about those young ladies. I wish you could send that to my email. Oh, okay. I like okay, this. Yeah. Let me see legally. if I can pull it up. 
and see how to do it. Let me see something. Okay. Yeah, and then what you can do, you can drop an email. What is it? Back private chat. I'm still green with that. Okay. That's how we do it. Mm. And see, Black CEO, you told me I was supposed to be sending you my information for the for your uh, via Facebook, and uh, you don't have no reason to fuss, baby. You don't had a bath, a full body massage, <laughs> deluxe spa. Yeah, we got. You don't have no reason to fuss. Yeah, we got the little clubs out here. Yeah, we're gonna run at ten o'clock. So, uh, okay. Oh, okay. look. <laughs> but yeah, country trick. Yeah. You get in there, though. Yeah, feel yeah. free. I do. If you get on yeah. inbox me on Facebook. Yeah. If y'all, my Facebook page is Black CEO Media uh, 2.0. That's my business page. If your family or you guys want to come on and uh, we can exchange information yeah. and I can have y'all on here to have the floor. And uh, I'll put the word out about your cousin. Okay. So oh, gay, please gay, tell gay, them to come gay. up. Are they coming up on the panel? Uh, maybe. Let me see, cause she said. Uh, 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 oh, so she can give her a few minutes. Okay. Because okay. what I do is, hey, like I say, inbox me on Black Video okay. Media on Facebook, and we exchange numbers. Yeah, and we get the word out on it, and uh, you know, cause that right there was not good. The guy was damn moving away from him, you know, and. Nine shots to the back, like bro. That right. perfect, but that there is wrong. That hell, that was wrong right there. And um, yeah, some heads need to roll. They they don't even they treat eat. a dog like that. That's my point. They, they, in this country, they treat a dog better. An uh, animal got more rights than a black man or a black woman. Let's come out and say it. We by yeah. now we are not even be beating around a damn bush. Let's just yeah. get it over with. Listen, I'm on here. And you clearly see that brother running away right there. Even if he got a whip. Come on, you mean to say we can't uh, neutralize his brother without nine shots to the back? Come on, man. That's a shame. Look at that. You make those in. I seen it. Actually, I seen it up last That's night on the shame. news, bro. And I looked. And my cousin, we was like, come on, bro. We seen that. We was like, huh? Okay, okay, if you did, like, bro, did you got to do Bro, who is going to be scared of this, brother? I'm trying to listen to black. Wait, you got a taser, you got a ton, and all of this. Nine shots, okay. All right, like, whatever, no deal. No deal. They don't care, black. That's what Michael Jackson was singing about in his last song. That's what I'm saying, if you notice, all his songs were about love. When he got to the last mm -hmm. song, he said, all I got to say is they don't really care about us. Did anybody else get that message or was it just me? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Hey, I'll be on it. I still play it. Hey, sue me, sue me. Everybody did. Yeah, they yeah, don't really care. Because they don't really care about us. You know, mm -hmm. and then look, the other day I went home. I said, well, wait a minute. I can go deep with Michael Jackson, smiling faces. Pretend mm -hmm. to be your friend, but mm -hmm. even a lurker within, smiling, mm -hmm. face, pretend to be your friend, yeah. huh? smiling face. Mike, my boy. They I have so many double standards. Okay. Yeah, that's it's sad. It's Brian, Arkansas, Miss T.S. Brian. Yeah, okay. Bryant, Arkansas. Yeah, Bryant. What's the problem? Yeah, Bryant, Arkansas. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's crazy. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. put out there, Bryant, Arkansas, also because you know the internet. You put that all over that man. You, you go viral. This, this young lady's life ruined. Not lady. only that, they sent they sent the picture to somebody, like to somebody. They, they took the picture and sent it to somebody while they were in school to a person in Louisiana. So suppose Talk somebody about he was an a, eighth a grade that child. That's yeah, exactly but suppose what somebody was abducted or attacked. I sue the ass. Yeah, that uh, I'd had a whole U.S. military behind me trying to sue that ass. Yeah. I'm not playing, y'all. They jeopardized that girl's life. 
That's exactly what her parents are saying. By doing but it. But everybody else is They're saying right. that it's not it's not as bad as the parents are making it seem. But but what they, they did was everybody else child. Exactly what the mama said. They su suspended my three of the little school. white girls for three yeah. days. The hell with that. I take my child out that school and I'd sue mm -hmm. their ass and have my child in the, uh, either doing school work from home or Absolutely. private school. But she would Absolutely. no longer be in that school. Absolutely. They ain't got no more interest uh, for her concern and health and welfare than that. Oh, hell no. See, Absolutely. why we keep letting these people make money off of us? Yeah. I'm not I interested just... in pull all your kids out their school, tell all the black parents, pull all your kids out their school and do homeschool. Let them go to another school. There are other options, other alternatives. But I damn sure wouldn't leave her in their hands. I sure wouldn't. What is you? What is you tripping over? He must yeah. want to. Somebody want to say. No, they been holding it. Baby lion cub. Mm hmm. Go on and lay back, Junior. He done had, look, he just is sleepy. He done had a full uh, deluxe bath, spa, rub down. He just, yeah. look, he, just, nice he was, won't miss. <laughs> 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 look, you see he got quiet. Did, did y'all see yeah. his baby got quiet? They know how to Because he know we talk about it. Now, what I want to know well, is with this, with the guy who was shot, the amputee, okay. because this is so new to Lord. me when it popped yeah. up. A lot of things mm -hmm. so <laughs> I see black is because you put it out there and then I'll look. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. what is the case with that? Like, this man is in a wheelchair. Okay. Right. Yeah. What possible what possible threat could he have had towards somebody if he didn't have a gun outside of having a gun? Because not even a knife. You understand? He go be able to get to you with that because he got to move the wheelchair to get towards you. So what threat did this man pose to these officers? Like I'm not understanding it. It was all these tasers they got why would you shoot this man with um, real ammunition, deadly bullets and things? Would If he was that much of a problem, why wasn't a non-lethal approach taken towards well, this man? They said the taser didn't work from my understanding. And then they said that he said he was going to throw the knife. How they say that he going to throw the knife at them allegedly or try to harm them. I guess they said they can't do nothing with him. She had me. Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. I'm, so I'm they. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And they, this they is a person that is on wheels. Mm -hmm. It don't yeah. take but somebody to walk up behind him to stop him Nine from shot. doing whatever it is he's doing. Because there's no way he can take a knife and throw it at you. Will he going to keep you still? You're just going to stand there for target practice? No. That was malice intent. Because there's no way you're going to mm, tell mm, me mm. that this man got a knife and he's an amputee and he's going to threaten no. you and you feel like it's real. That ain't real. Mm, he's mm. a double amputee. I'm, I'm, let me get the video away out talk. Let That's me an excuse. You know what that mess is? That is that, that same excuse that they tried to put up for Shanquilla. Alcohol poison? That's an excuse. Mm -hmm. yeah. No That's deal. something fabricated. Maybe he thought wasn't nobody gonna see it. Maybe he thought wasn't nobody videoing it. Wasn't that somebody's cell phone that took that picture? Yeah, I think I believe so. Yeah, see, so he probably been this doing that. And see, and see, it's the whole thing about all these cases we've been watching. That's the reason why last time we met, I told y'all there's nothing new under the sun. Everything being done has already been done. These people have been doing this over and over and over, over and over and over. Over and over and over, time after time after time again. They just weren't video. We didn't have access to these cell phones back then. We didn't have access yes, to cameras on um, on poles outside of homes and stuff. 
you know? Yep. That's the problem. People are starting to document things. So they have to uh-huh. um they find in other Sit ways of uh-huh. backpedaling. They find in other ways uh-huh. to cover things up because now we have eyes on things that we normally did not. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like they had a big thing uh-huh. about this market up here. Talking about, oh, they got rats in Lexington Market. And I told these people up here, I said, I don't mean no harm. But them rats been there. Since they were putting people down in the bottom of there, they held slaves down in there. Them rats been there. The uh-huh. phone is the only thing that's uh-huh. new. The phone is the only thing that's new, sweetie. They held slaves down at the bottom of Lexington Market. You think them rats ain't been there? No, your phone is what's new. A lot of people was mad with me. I said, you've been eating that cake and them chips and them sandwiches from down there for so long. The rats been down there before you was born. All right, I think I got the video, ladies. Okay. Okay. Junior was holding a knife when officers... Let me, let me put it back. ...opened fire last week. By Huntington Park Pole. UT shot... Hold one second. I'm going to put this in so we won't have an echo. And uh, let's see. And it'll show him like walking away from the police, man. And, like, bro, this bro is not a damn threat, though. Let's see. All right, let's roll. Killed by Huntington Park Police is demanding justice. Anthony Lowe Jr. was holding a knife when officers opened fire, fire last year. There we go. Uh, boom. Tonight, Lowe's family wants those officers to face charges. KKL News reporter Joy Benedict spoke to his family. It's an alarming video, to say the least, as a double amputee is seen trying to get away from police, flashing a butcher knife. But what happened next had his family in tears. My son was murdered. I don't want nobody to react on it. I just want y'all to get justice. Dorothy Lowe's son, Anthony Lowe Jr., was shot and killed by Huntington Park police officers on Thursday, just moments after a passerby shot this video. They refused to give everything that we need to know what really happened to him. He was not homeless. He was loved. And it's sad, really sad how these police are getting away with killing our African-American people just getting away with it. He was in a wheelchair. What more could he do? What more could he do? Investigators say they got a call at 345 Thursday afternoon by a man saying he was stabbed by another man in a wheelchair. When officers arrived, they say they found Low with a knife. They say he got out of his wheelchair and attempted to get away. In a statement, the Huntington Park Police Department says officers tried twice to deploy tasers but were unsuccessful in subduing Low. And after he continued to threaten officers with the knife, that's when they say an officer or involved shooting happened. Be realistic about this. Mm-hmm. What could he have possibly done in the wheelchair? Nothing. We want just and answers as friends and family say they have heard little from the police department or the LA County Sheriff, which is assisting in the investigation. You like know you your life wasn't in danger? He's running on his limb. How cold hearted could they be? And while this family struggles to make hmm. ex- no ask that. of their law friend he got a strong family and he loves him so i just want justice we want justice for our whole family it's not clear if there is any body worn camera or data footage from the huntington police department of this officer involved shooting but we have learned that at least one business up there on slauson does have security footage of it they say they shared that with the los angeles county sheriff's department and they are not at this time willing to share it with mm. us. Nonetheless, mm. investigation. Here we go. Continues. From Huntington Park, I'm mm-hmm. Joe Benedict. KK. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Mm. See, they ain't willing to do it. See that? Mm. Mm. But he was running See, this away from that, them. This that double standard. Girl, I don't um, care if he was flying up over them. They was wrong on so many levels. Yes. This is, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Now, you know, listen, forget what Michael mm-hmm. Jackson said. Kanye said, I want to see where all y'all hard rappers at. All y'all uh, fake hard rappers talking about y'all going to do this and that to your fellow man. 
Well, how come y'all ain't doing nothing to these people that's doing something to your fellow man? Nah, y'all just want to do each other. Yeah, y'all sitting around. Y'all supposed to be hardcore. I'm hard man. I said I'm hard man. I go for mine. I'm gonna get mine. Get it how? Get it when? Yeah. When you watching your people? This your neighborhood. This what you make it make sense, Queen. You on that talk about? Talk about you securing the bag? What bag? Cause your number can roll up next. It's like a damn Ooh. Russian roulette shit. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it's the like they taking away, like I said, they taking away the ones who really are not a threat. The ones who aren't doing anything. Mm-hmm. They ain't out there really policing mm-hmm. those no ones harm. doing everything. They after it's those bad. ones they that go to work. Be protected. They after those mm-hmm. good children. They after the ones mm-hmm. that's going to make a better difference. They know if they clear them out. Listen. Mhm. That but look, they uh, they uh, they don't care. It's all about stealing the soul. S O U L. Soul. Mm-hmm. We're in the last days. The devil needs soul. There are gonna be two thirds of our people not gonna make it. Two thirds of our yeah. people aren't gonna make it, y'all. Two thirds. So if two thirds ain't gonna make it luck. anyway, we huh? probably out of luck. The way they gonna took our brothers and sisters, they probably will. They can have they my spot. If that's where they go. Damn, boy, they probably <laughs> they feel the seats up. They can feel the seats. I'm up. trying right, to y'all. tell you. We, we this might is be ridiculous. Stuck I mean, you think so? I mean, like this. Nah, ridiculous. Nah, nah, we ain't gonna be we stuck gonna here. We're we gonna make it. Yeah, we gotta make it. That's why we still Ooh. here because we serving. Always our written that we gonna but, make it. What's that it's like? prophesied that's right, we listen, gonna make. We're gonna make mm-hmm. it. Yep. But let me tell you something. These people here, who, who, who what they say, California? That was in California. L.A. Yeah. That happened in California. Mm-hmm. In L.A. Hmm. Yes, in L.A. And yeah. so here we go, L.A. Y'all don't want that. No, they don't. L.A., L.A., y'all don't want it. I'm telling yeah. you, they got a but different mindset in L.A. You know, right? Did yeah. you see what Everything. happened with the Rodney King? I uh, know. Girl, no, I'm thinking uh, why. They y'all out. don't want that smoke. They don't want that smoke. Yeah, and they keep trying to provoke. They keep trying to provoke our community, and it's plain as the nose on their face. Yes, but what's gonna happen? What what they not realizing is, whatever you do and affect my people, yeah, it's gonna affect you, but it's gonna affect your people. So when your people have to pay for your sin then you're not going to get our sympathy. You keep sinning against our people. And you know you're wrong. But you don't care. So when harm comes to yours and people not rallying with sympathy, you don't have to ask why or wonder why. Because whatever you reap, that's what you're going to say. Whatever you sow, that's what you're going to reap. Hallelujah. Come on, people. So if all you did was got a badge so you could go bully somebody, you got the wrong job. Exactly. If if you got a job teaching children, but you don't want to teach, you got the wrong job. Hello, somebody. If you got a job as a nurse or a doctor, but you really don't want to help, you got the wrong job. Yes, ma'am. If you got the yes, job ma'am. as a tech, as a tech person, and you really don't want to deal with computers, baby, guess what? Let AT tell you, <laughs> you got the wrong hey, job. Hey, Queen, tell me yes, about ma'am. a simple damn making a hamburger. If you if you can't make it, say, but if you don't want to make a simple what hamburger, tell me, do they have the wrong job? I mean, like, damn, they exactly. got the wrong job. They don't just have a wrong job. They got the wrong job. Because they don't get no simpler than that. But now, on the other hand, Miss T.S., 
If you want to cause division, if you want to put a race down, if you want to mm-hmm. be the one to help with a race war starting and division, but it, you got but the it had right job. Listen. And see, so you got some right. of them that's in there that know what they're doing. They're put there to do right. certain things, to bring right. certain things but forth. So they this. know what they're doing. You got some of but them that's not just there work. and just so happen to come up on wrong and they stay on the wrong side. But you got some that go there deliberately to set off, if, like you said, to poke our bear. They want to poke the bear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And report on all yeah. our wrongs and report yeah. on see, how we have retaliated as if it's an attack. Let, let me no. help you with that. See, poking the bear, see, I got you on that one, sister. You could just kick back right there. I got this. Uh-oh. Poking the bear might work out fine when it's a relationship between you and yours. Y'all mm-hmm. might could work it out or whatever. Bridge. Poking the bear when it comes to my people. I mean, you're going to have to deal with the most high God. Uh Uh-oh. That ain't what you want. So, you know, remember? Remember when we was talking, I say, suppose if when you die, you have to come back as a person that you did harm to. Remember I said that? Yes, ma'am. Remember that? Yes, ma'am. Suppose if you did that man like that and you have to come back that officer has to come back as a black male amputee. Yes, ma'am. Yes, In LA. Ma'am, I do understand. Yes, and ma'am. And an officer like mm-hmm. him shows up mm-hmm. on the scene. Yes, ma'am. With a gangster lean. Yeah, that part. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that part. <laughs> that part. So, you know, it's like they. I, I, I don't even want to go that deep. I don't even want to go no, that go. deep. But it's, go, it's sad. We need it. The lions then not need okay, it. It's people so, out here I'm, that need to hear I'm that. That's what we here for. Right? I ain't been in a minute. We'll tone it down uh, in the next couple of days. Go ahead, Queen. <laughs> Do I need to turn it down on that bad? No, I said we'll tone no, it down know. in the next couple of days. Go ahead tonight. We ain't been on You good. <laughs> yeah, you good. These people don't understand. They just don't get it. The Most High has already shown everybody already. You keep doing harm to my people. Harm going to come to your people. You keep doing harm to my people. Harm is going to come to your people. He didn't say how, and he didn't say when, did he? Mm-hmm. It can come no, in a man, devastating but we know form. It's coming it can come fold. in a, it can come in a devastating form, a cataclysmic form. But keep poking the bear, because mm. guess what? We don't have nothing to lose anyway. What we got to lose, people? Come on, let's be exactly. real. What we got to lose exactly. at this point? Yes, man. Roll That's the what damn dice. What we gonna lose? Yeah, that's what I'm I wrong said. Again, so hell, I went. I love to see us. So you know. Yes, ma'am. That's what I said. I said that earlier. Like we don't have anything to lose. We don't have. So so they want to keep poking the bear, but they don't know that we're covered by the Most High. The Word says that He's covering us, even the righteous and the wicked. We do. We 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 His children. So He covering us, coming and going. But y'all, on the other hand. Y'all wicked people that's out there doing his children like this? Oh, baby, y'all gonna have to pay dearly. And you're gonna have to keep paying and keep paying and keep paying. Guess what? When you leave, you gotta come back too. Hmm. For eternity. Well, what you gonna come back as? Mm. For eternity, you're gonna live that life that you tried to put on that man. That yeah. you tried to put on Sandra Bland. That you tried to put on Tamir Rice, that you tried to put on Trayvon Martin, that Great. you tried to put on uh, Orlando Castile. Oh, I got all the names etched in my mind and in my heart. And it gives me chills to think that these people, they think they're rallying up the masses. No, the most high is checking. 
All right. Why you think all these storms are hitting places they never hit before? Texas mm -hmm. ain't never had no tornadoes hitting the other side of Houston <coughs> and ice like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. When you seen, when you seen, go back and look at the weather and see when the last time a tornado, and look y'all, the tornado came straight through. <coughs> My sister live on one side of the freeway, I live on the other, came straight down the freeway all the way through the city till it hit Pasadena. Mm. Then you what? look up the population, look up, I'm telling you, <laughs> cause everybody was blowing up my phone. Girl, get in the closet, get in the closet. I said, shit, I ain't never come out the closet cause yeah, I'm, not, I'm not gay. So what the hell is you calling my phone talking about get in the closet? They say, girl, you crazy, get in the closet. It's a tornado coming your way. I said, well, hell, my TV ain't even on. Y'all better tell me something talking about get in the closet. Shit, don't play with me. <laughs> so I turned the TV on the tornado coming straight down the freeway between where we live. Y'all pull it up, came clean through the city, didn't touch nothing but Pasadena and Deer Park pull up the population. They mm. gonna keep on messing with us. But they has to did it. That's white folk, uh, you know, territory. Not, not Pasadena. Pasadena in California. That's supposed to be kind of risky. Not Pasadena outside Houston. Boom. No. Uh -uh. Okay, uh -uh. you. Okay, yeah, that's you, largely you Hispanic. Okay, you. That's largely Hispanic. I mean, you in Texas. But the other side of that, Deer Park. That's what you want to look up. See, mm -hmm. let me tell y'all something. I, and I'm sitting here, a lot of people say, oh, she, just talking, she just always, she always, you know what? Nah, you right. <laughs> let me tell y'all something. It'll never be too soon for God to turn this thing out. Uh -oh. He can turn this thing on an axle overnight, and you better hold on to your loved one and let them know you love them. Cause he probably, if we tired of this crap, and y'all know what I want to say, then uh -oh. you know he got to be tired of them messing with his people. And he probably said, "Well, now wait a minute. I gave my people the tools they needed to use mm -hmm. against this wickedness. So what are they waiting on? What are they doing? What are they worrying about? Why do they keep praying to me? I've already answered that prayer over and over again. Do people get it?" No. When these people do this harm, if we've already prayed the prayer over and over again, they're gonna get the answer. All you gotta do is pray to God one time. You God and God, lay it in His lap. Gotta beg. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And put exactly. it in. You don't hand. have to beg. God. Take care of it. That's the reason why they keep doing that. Mm -hmm. God don't change. He didn't change yesterday. He ain't gonna change today. He ain't gonna change tomorrow. But they don't believe in Him, so who cares what they think? Yeah, yeah. All we gotta do is do what the Ten Commandments say. Do what the Bible say. We can get some popcorn and sit back and watch the movie because it's about to go down. It is. Uh, Ooh, Miss T S. They got houses in Deer Park starting at um eight hundred thousand dollars. Did you hear what God I said? Money. These mm. people better leave my people alone. Ooh, Lord, I'm mm. telling y'all. Right they better leave my people alone. And look, look at the map. Now that. That tornado came from the west. Okay. Okay. Say Ten days ago, I'm checking the economy now. <laughs> Chris says she home. Okay. Now let me Wait see. They minute. got uh. Let's we'll see. Wait here. a minute. Cause. See. Okay. Am I on here? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. yeah. You here? My volume seemed low. Yeah, try to cut. That. Did you? When you take the uh, earplugs out, sometimes it'll make the volume go down. So try to make sure your volume up. Oh, you know what? Let yeah. me uh, let me make sure it's all the way off. All right. Yeah, and like I said, I'm gonna do ten o'clock, y'all, so I can grab me something. We good though. 
what is it? Uh, ten. I mean, nine forty-four. Though, yeah, this been and uh, been real here. Okay. Um, to the family of the empathy, brother, if you're in here, if you hear this, you guys can in, uh, inbox me on Facebook, leave your information, and I will get back with you and uh, promote it if you want to. Uh, your voice heard concerning uh, your family member. Uh, it's Black CEO Media 2.0, my business page. It's not a personal page, it's the business page, all right? So uh, feel free to inbox me, and uh, we can uh, ch change information, and we'll get it out there, for, uh, see what's going on with that brother there. And, uh, so yeah, can you good hear now? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, yeah. I can, it's, like I'm, it's like I got a muffled or something. Hmm. Let me see. Yeah. Okay, can there you, you hear me now? There you go. Yeah. I think you had your mic off on it. Yeah. You still can't hear? Oh, see. I'm getting a call. Girl, bye. <laughs> oh, you get a call. Okay. Prayer without work is dead. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm looking right here. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you go to a map and you look at where there's tornado came from how it went clean through the city on a mission right on a mission oh, mm -hmm. but i refuse to get in the closet god ain't say nothing to me about getting in no closet I knew about it. It. god <laughs> didn't say nothing to me about getting in no day gone closet <laughs> You ain't getting in no clothes. That ain't for you. For what they did, for what that guy did to that young man out there in California, he got they gonna have to pay dearly for what they for what they those police officers did to that young man, uh, who they just had his service, Tyree. They gonna pay dearly oh, yeah. for every time <laughs> they they do yeah. this. They gotta pay. Yeah, they got to pay. They definitely Because they, they, they didn't give the life, so how could they take it? Because mm. they play in God. They play they in God. They trying to play That's God, they but doing. they going to get the wrath of God. They trying to play yeah. God, but they about to get the wrath of God. So will Cabo. Mm -hmm. Cabo can run, but they oh, yeah. can't hide. Mm -hmm. They can run, but they cannot hide. I'm telling you, these people, Aquila. and, and Karma ain't even taking that long to come back to get your butt. It's no your mm -hmm. address when you move. It got you when you move. It's, it's your sticker for your forwarding address. Yeah. That all. Yeah, things is happening to them that we don't even see, that we don't even know. God already putting mm -hmm. his hands on the top of their head and holding on to their shoulders. Things I'm is going on with you. them that we can't see. Now, he will mm -hmm. make your enemy your footstool, and it will not be a secret. But what he does to them, that's for them, oh, they're going to see it. We ain't got to see it, mm -hmm. but we can know. We can know it's happening. Mm -hmm. Oh, trust I know it's happening. I know it's mm -hmm. happening when they go to sleep. I know it's happening when they get up. I know it's happening when they go to eat. I know it's happening when they look at their mamas, their daddies, their grandmamas. I know. It's like a stone in their stomach. That's right. Let me put my pen up the way you talk. Justice for court. them. Let me. I got it too far. That's right. Justice That's for right. Court. It's like That's a right. stone in their stomach. And the thing about it is, I truly believe, like you say, these empty vessels are going to come back and be full. Mm -hmm. And they're mm -hmm. going to experience an empty vessel come up on them. And see, that is That's how punishment goes. Yeah. Yeah. And then so see, then you you can't be sympathetic for what? You can't. Because because see, now you they have to remember we're not we're not the ancestors that were slaves back then. Mm -hmm. Even though Kanye said we slaves now, but we weren't those slaves. Mm -hmm. So we might yep. be slaves now. Just a just but a we're not to that a different kind thing. of slave. It's just so whatever we are. With God's, with God's children, mm -hmm. and He's gonna show us favor, and favor don't have to be fair. And I don't give a damn what they do to my people. We're gonna always be here to the end of time. We were the beginning. We're gonna be the end, and we're gonna prosper. No man has the right to try to remove us from what God predestined us for. 
They would have to be out of their mind to even try it. Melanated people air with even it. Try. it. But in the, the meantime, meantime and in between time, they going to pay. They got to pay the piper. They want R. Kelly to pay, but they the ones going to pay. Uh oh. They don't have yeah, that they belief system. They try to system. make R. Kelly out, but they the ones going to have to pay. They always try to hold a brother up like, oh, see, see, we we not the only ones doing wicked shit. See, we wasn't mm. the only ones killing our uh, pet. We wasn't the only one. See, so now they done put these six brothers up there. See, it wasn't just white cops killing black people. Well, nah, what the other black it. cops that was Preach. killing white people at? The six people... Uh, Derek Chauvin, Click, and Crew, where they at in the black group? You see what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we had to have the yeah, Mars to get them out the Huh? Nah, my bad. I know I was saying, it. and we had the damn near Mars to get them locked up. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. We, had to, we damn near had to turn it out. We, yeah. yeah. You we know about what I'm to come out for real. Yeah, they went and Uber these brothers down there. They got them quick, they face up there. I'm like, damn, okay. But keep, just I'm gonna give it back. Tell them to keep that same energy though. Okay, something else go down. Yeah. Tell them to keep yeah. that same energy. Now, wait a minute, Miss T S. Now you say energy. now it's Pasadena. Where about is because I see Pasadena here, Houston. I don't see where about mm -hmm. on here. This map is confusing me. I don't see that storm um, came from the west. That storm came from the west and it went, uh, so it came from the northwest and it went southeast. Never in the history of the city mm -hmm. has that yeah, happened. Like I mean, and, they, and everybody was blowing up my phone. You better get in the closet, get in the closet, get in the closet, get in the damn yeah. closet. <laughs> Y'all got me messed up. <laughs> Shit, I'm not gay. But. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not sitting around on no eggshells to try to defend myself. Because I don't have to do that when when the most high made me who I am and what he intended for me to be. And that's what I'll be throughout eternity. Thank you very much. And going to do it to the utmost. I like that. Thank you very much. <laughs> wow. Let me adjust that crown. <laughs> Let me tell you something. That thing hit from northwest, went all the way through the city. We're talking miles, at least 20 miles before it hit where it hit. Come on, somebody. Okay. Okay. I'm about to pull up the path. Up right tornadoes there. do that. And it also says that it is a rare tornado. It says it's a rare tornado emergency in Houston. It, it, the word rare is up there. Like it just, and for them to use the words rare, that means it must not have happened hardly in history. Word. If it, it did, it must have been in the, it must have been in the 40s or 50s because the damn sure ain't been recent. Not right. For them to say rare, it's, it's something that they, they don't have a, a, a a recent enough record of to be able to not put the word rare in there. Because sometimes it's not what they say, it's how they say it. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so here's so the, the path. End. Okay, right you here. see it? If they got the path. Yeah. Of it, I'm looking at the path of it, where they saying what path it took, the tornado track. So, Oh, okay. Oh, I see how many miles this. it went. Yes, I did not. Oh, my. Oh, maybe that's over 20 miles. That thing traveled over 20 miles for a hit. That's a target. It. That's what uh, I was getting ready to say. It was damn, meant see. to go where it went. It didn't lay down, Come touch down, sit down. It, sat, it went Come straight on, to a destination and then sat down. Come on. Because I'm looking at it the way that you, it's here. It didn't sit down. You're looking at it on the map, eh? Ain't you see? Yes, man. It didn't sit down. Okay. It came straight through and sat down right mm -hmm. there. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Like it ain't pushed mm-hmm. through, you know what I mean? The way it's coming through, it didn't push mm-hmm. through. Like it, you know, it set yeah. down and come back up. It didn't touch down. It didn't even set down. It took its path. I'm wow. looking here, and it sat right down in come Deer on Park and Pasadena. Come Pasadena got hit, but Deer Park is where it set down at. Wow. Thank you, baby. Sit, sit it down. At. Park at I'm the looking front door. Deer Park now. Now Pasadena got some, you know, got some little bit of whatever that happened coming through because it was through that path, but it didn't set down until Deer Park. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they quit and it sat down people. there and it stayed there. Wow, like it sat you. down there and went nowhere mm-hmm. else. Is where it is. Like it didn't, you know what I mean? You don't have none of those um those clouds they call like uh they supposed wow. to be called like utter clouds or whatever. They put come down. You don't have none yeah. of that nowhere. Everything it just sat right there in yeah. Deer Park. Targeted. And that's where it went to, and that's where it stopped. On a mission. Hell, error. Yeah. Mm. Everything. Yeah, it went through other mm. places, but nothing was touching. Even the fact that Pasadena is right there, and it had to, it basically had to skip toe over top of, uh, across Pasadena's head. And the fact right. that it was it's- so close to the ground right there at Pasadena, and didn't do the damage that is done right here. And that's scary. I don't want to live with that. Oh Lord have it. But it's not something that's normal. Black is right. telling you right here that's not normal. That's not I'm something that is indicative now. to this area. Who it's saying it. Who live up there, Tess? Who live out there that was out there in deep pack? You Rich say. folk, white folk, anybody <laughs> that all of them, oh, yeah. all of them. I told you ain't nothing yeah. but seven hundred, eight hundred thousand yeah. dollar houses. Mm. Yeah, Pasadena is mostly Latino oh, and blacks. Okay. And Deer Park, the Some part blacks. that is sat down on, is uh, well, you know, they're they, you know, well to do. Oh, okay. oh yeah, that. Why you think I said that? Wow. Yeah, they well These to do. Them houses is what eight hundred, five hundred. They better stop. A little cleansing going on, spiritual cleansing. Out yeah. Here. That's what I say. They better stop. That's they don't came. They don't come too far to stop, Miss TS. They gotta ramp up in order to Did win you over see how top many of us. Miles that damn thing travel. I'm looking That's at That's over right here. 25 it takes, miles. Right. Mm. It never not to, nothing. Right. And for it not to bust down like it did, it it, it went straight. It went straight. It went straight down the freeway, y'all, like it was a truck. <laughs> yeah, it went and sat down on Deer Park front step. Damn. So listen, Ooh. we don't have to worry about Watts in California. We don't have to worry about anything. These people that are doing these things, they got to pay. It's Simple as that. And whoever whoever ride with them, if you ride with them, hey, you ride with them. You're going to slide you know. with them. You're going to have to slide with them because you're on the slope. You ride down. the rides with them, you're going to have to slide the slides with them. Mm. Yeah. Because they've been doing it so long, they think they can continue it. But no, it's not like it used to be. We not them people. We not. So I know the ones coming behind us not. That's what I say. These little guys I said, they put think the dealing with us is one thing. Ooh, <laughs> if they got to deal with them without us, that mean you could. That mean you got the animal without a leash. That Ooh. mean you got. That but mean you, know you got the, the the cages open without a zookeeper. Mm. I heard you say that, and you are Ooh. so right. Wow. They that trying to sweet. sit around and wait for us to be gone. Hell, I'm gonna outlive all they bitch ass. Nah, right. I'm gonna give every, everybody the game as long as I can for whoever hmm. listens. That's right. Now, I cause they not gonna shut me up, shut me down. I'm gonna keep giving the game. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna keep giving the facts. Mm-hmm. 
what you say, black? Because the yeah. rest is too messy. Yeah, the, the fruit and not what the damn say? juice because the juice yeah. is too messy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The juice, not the juice. Yeah. yeah. So, the juice. <laughs> it's crazy. That's crazy because they had no right to do any of our people the way they did, ever. And they keep saying, well, I didn't have nothing to do with history back then. Slavery wasn't a part of me. The hell of it wasn't because you come from them people. Right. <laughs> if they, if they wasn't a part of you, you mm -hmm. are part of them. And you still you benefiting. Just, that's right. If you're still you benefiting. The privileges. That's right. Every time mm -hmm. you sit on the toilet, you're benefiting. Every time you get every time you get your hair done, you benefit. Every time you go and you sit up in one of these beautiful houses on this land that's clear that you'd have had to go across the that you'd have had to jump on a train mm -hmm. to go to or a plane to go to, you are benefiting because those things we worked on, those things we bought for us. No, we ain't gonna get the credit, but we know what mm. we did. We know what we can mm. do. A lot of us are mm -hmm. just too afraid to do it. I'm a, what I'm gonna do too this week. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put out like the black inventors and stuff that we got. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people know and don't know. So I'm gonna be dropping some videos on that, like that. You know, like little black inventions and stuff for uh, Black History Month and stuff. Oh, you know definitely. I, mean? I would love yeah. to see that. Definitely let yeah. people know where the tallest yeah. he came from. Why yeah. you think it's made white? Because a black man invented it. And do y'all know that Egypt, when you look on the walls of yeah. Egypt, that trains back there? But anyway, I'm about to get out of here. That's going to be like, uh -oh. you know, come back and put All some All right, then. But uh, no, nah, I enjoyed this. We opened it up a little bit. And, uh, you know, shoot, I'm glad you came through, T.S. And next time we got to get uh, Bridget got to come up here next time. And, but yeah. we know that queen got to take care of her father. So that's one thing I like that, that you take care of dad over there, Bridget. Appreciate those five bucks, Bridget. I will get me a coffee or I will get me a water with it. So I appreciate it. But uh this yeah, is more it's more like a family when we come over here. Oh yeah. That's, that's what, what it's people. more like. More like a family than a, a platform. Mm-hmm. And I be tripping off the queens in here. Boy, y'all be so passionate out here. And I just sit back, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I be mad. You know, but uh yeah, we're gonna keep it going. I know I'd be saying it, but like I say, I just had to um I I, I I was able to meet my nine-month-old granddaughter the first time last week, so that changed my schedule. <gasps> oh, I, I was able to see her for the oh. first time, and it was like long lost family member and all of that. And I mean, God oh. went to work. I'm gonna tell you. I mean, God went to work, and boy, they, he's real. I'm gonna say that he is. Yes, real. indeed. You know, I seen my queen. I wish. I mean, my little princess. I wish I could have been there when she was born, but I seen her and. I'm just, you know, everywhere. And uh, actually, I had been going to see her every night, like at 6 o'clock, hitting, hitting the highway. So that's why I, I kind of ain't been known. And uh, my son, you know, God really thrust him directly back in my life, you know, last Thursday. All right. Yeah. I mean, he thrust him back in there. And All right. You know, I can't even explain. So uh, You don't but, have to. And, uh, you know, but he told me, but my son told me yesterday in the car, get on back on YouTube, Dad. Get on back on it, though, you know. And yeah, so I, he know I, what it is. He see, he's he's at the age where he sees yeah, what you know, you're man. doing. He hey, can man. see more of your progress than you can because he's dealing with a different sect. You understand? Mm -hmm. He's dealing with people of his age, and even if we don't see them here or we don't hear them here, he knows that they hear us. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely mm -hmm. out of the mouth of babes. Uh -huh. I feel good. Yeah. So. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna try to go on sometime like tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Uh, so definitely cut your notifications on and uh, y'all come through. Uh, but I'm gonna definitely get back on with Quilla. You know, Quilla and them got the February 18th March from AME Church or something going to the post office where they're gonna start a letter campaign. If we can't make it, we'll figure out, get the addresses, and we'll send our damn letters uh, appropriately and accordingly, like we need to do over to Mexico. Because I told you, I kept saying, oh, I'm gonna be there, Black. You know, I'm, oh yeah, the, I'm coming down to see some family. Yeah, and I'm not playing. We coming. I got an 80th birthday. I was supposed to be going to. I was like, damn, you know. On Don't that do day, what you gotta do. We represent for you. 
Yeah, and if the person is 80, they ain't gonna stay up too long, black. Like, they yeah, go, you know, they so, go to party, they go go to sleep, you know, go back about the business. Yeah, man. So I ain't but fooling if you with do, you. You ain't gonna get me in trouble with the elderly. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I can't have it. You that ain't right ready, do they? <laughs> oh, Lord. They ain't gonna stay up too long. And then you mentioned that you gotta go to a march. They probably said, "Well, go ahead on. I'm coming with you." <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think she gonna come. She be like, "No, nah, but you go ahead, though." Mm -hmm. uh, oh no, don't. But look at y'all. I like to hear black. things. Y'all keep them notifications oh, on. I'm okay. See you in the morning. And uh, precious metal. Make sure you swing through them all. If I come on, we're gonna do. Cause we're gonna do it about Quilla. We're gonna break this down about that march a little bit and other things. Like I that. definitely will. And Miss T S, go look up that thing about um, Bryant, Arkansas. What's going on with that little girl? I am. I am, and try to hit me in my email show. like like uh, Black CEO said. Okay. Okay. Uh, I had to put mine up in this thing somewhere back here. Uh, in here, I could put my email up. I know yeah. it's some kind of way up in here. Yeah, we'll figure it out. You. Yeah, okay. Well, I was gonna say, if I cut it off, she won't see it though. Uh, precious ma'am. Okay, we'll, we'll, well, we'll definitely, I will, I will definitely, definitely put my notification that's already on and try to be come through tomorrow because whenever Miss TS come on, I try to make my daughter sit down and listen. She's 15. I know, right? You know, I, 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 make her sit down and listen so she know that it ain't just me, my mama, my grandmama, and my aunties. So she know it's, it's other places, too. Yeah, telling you good over mm -hmm. here. Hey, this the lion, Dan. And we, we talk, get long winded the whole nine, keep it real, and bring the truth and not the damn truth. Mm -hmm. Well, that's how family do. Where the helicopters at out here? Let me see if I get a helicopter. Hey, Bridget, let me get a helicopter emoji, Queen. And I, I sue Queen right here taking care of dad over there. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I, I have a blessed night. night. You right. too. Yeah. I'm out. All right.